Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Today we are taking a look at the newest game from Games Workshop, and I it is a new game. <laughs> it's Warhammer 40,000 Apocalypse. It says it's a mass battle system. It's, it's an entirely new game. It is not Warhammer 40k mod. It is not use your code access for 40k and play a really big 40k game. It's a whole new game. Um, and I think this is kind of an important distinction because I don't know if it's been underlined enough that this is not a, a just a 40k game. <laughs> this is not just a big, long, grindy game of 40k, which basically up until now, every previous edition of Apocalypse was that. It was a whole day playing with all your toy soldiers, and it did things to speed the game up in the old rules, like using giant 15-inch blast templates and Titan Killer weapons and all kinds of stuff that, like, just, you're removing buckets of guys. But then they walked it all back and it made it, like, invulns work again against the right. weapons. <laughs> well, because they started including all the, the super heavy stuff in the main game. Yeah. Remember with uh, Spearhead, I think it was called? There was, like, a, there was a, uh, a supplement right at the end of 6th edition going into 7th that put all the super heavy stuff into the main game. So they went from, like, Apocalypse units to everyone's playing with this stuff unit. So these rules might seem really familiar to people, and that's because this is a very similar engine and it runs on a very similar system to Epic Armageddon, which was Jervis Johnson's 2003 version of Epic. And you could very well play this in six millimeter if you wanted to. You could play with like little tiny miniatures and do a, a, a six mil version of this game. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna play, we're actually playing under the recommended power rating for this. They recommend a game of 300 or more power rating, and we're using a lot of points in 40k. Like this is probably 5,000 points yeah, that I have on the table at least. To. Like this is a huge 40k game, but they recommend that under 300 power, we're playing 250, you Just play, play you play 40k. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how this goes. But we're playing with like, I have I, one. I think if we played a 40k game, you would get dumpstered. I would. <laughs> in this game, you might be okay, but like in 40k, it would be not a fun I game. Think, I think I might get dumpstered in 40k. <laughs> um, but we'll see how this goes, because like literally everything is different. Your stats are different. You're, ro you're rolling way less dice. So like the number of operations are way different. And if you haven't checked out the core rules of the game and all the data sheets, I'm gonna link it all below so you can go check it out. We're not gonna spend a ton of time going through the rules for this, because the rules are actually really simple. It's it's about eight or nine pages of rules. Like it's not a lot of rules. Um, there's a element of deck building because you do build your deck of command uh, uh, asset cards that you generate each round and you generate them for the characters in your army as well. So your remaining number of detachments, you're basically building a hand of one plus the number of warlords you still have on the table. So the folks that are like building the plan and then every specialty like special codex or like house name or chapter or whatever gets cards in the deck um and any like it it they usually only get one so like i have one for my hawk shroud knights i have, oath I keepers, have three for each clan for each clan yeah. um but all of the ones that aren't for your chapter or whatever have an alternate use usually as a reroll. so like you can still use all the imperial fist blood angels dark angels astartes cards to just buy rerolls because there is no like command point system in here there's nothing like this is replacing all of that yeah. um so there's no like strategic reroll. so if you want rerolls, typically you're taking your artifaction cards and using them alternately to, to buy rerolls for dice and stuff um, if you use the generic apocalypse deck, you're typically sharing it with your opponent. It means that whatever you're not buying from the factions you're playing, you then randomly shuffle it from that core deck so you don't have the same ones twice. Um, and you have a deck of 30 cards. You then uh, draw your hand. If you have more than 10, you discard down. And if you run out, you reshuffle them and play again. The game lasts about five turns and there's six pre-built missions in the rule book, which is right here. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was, and it's in color, which is funny because I didn't, I didn't think looking at the pictures on it was black and white, and it actually is in color. Um, and there's a mission generator, and we're gonna use the mission generator today to randomly build a mission, because it uses a lot of stuff from open war, where there's like a twist, a ruse, and a sudden death like element. Yeah. There isn't necessarily rules for playing the same power rating, so like, we don't have to bring the same number of points, but the person with a higher power rating is automatically the attacker in a given mission. So I've taken one point more, I'm 251 to your 250. Um, one, because I couldn't actually yeah, find a point to drop so that you're defending and I'm attacking, which kind of makes sense for the Imperium. We'd go and hunt down some orcs in the Death Watch and stuff like that. So we'll share our armies, we'll share the table, we'll generate a mission. We, we, we kind of have to show you everything before we set the table up and we do generate the mission before we actually do any of that. There's like a, a procedure to, to go through. I uh, will get this underway. So here is my apocalypse army of imperial stuff. Um, and you can freely mix things as long as everything in your army has a single keyword, you get like your faction traits. And as long as everything has a sub keyword for, um, 
your detachments, they get whatever their sub faction trait is. So um, I have a battalion detachment. So all this right here, which is Watchmaster Mormont, um, my uh, chaplain and my librarian leading three veteran kill teams. Um, the upgrades they have is they each have a frag cannon and an Infernus heavy bolter. Then I have a Primaris Intercessor Squad and Primaris Hellblaster Squad as another troop and a heavy. I have two fasts, which is a veteran, um, I was it, a Vanguard Veteran Squad and a Bike Squad. Uh, and then finally I have a pair of Razorbacks as transports. And that's one activation right there. I'm using some awesome um, little movement trays from Six Squared Studios, a local movement tray maker, uh, to mount all these on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to rebase you guys or figure out something to put them on. Uh, and then my second detachment, and this is a primary detachment because there's two types of detachments, primary and support. So I can have, um, I think it's up to two support detachments for each primary. Three. Three. Uh, so I, I've got one set of support detachment so far, which is just actually this fortification network, which is two um, Vengeance weapon batteries upgraded with Punisher cans. Just want to try it out. And then I have three more primary detachments. I have a flyer wing of two Corvus Black Stars. Uh, I have a Vanguard detachment of my Terminator Captain, a Terminator Squad, and then three uh, Venerable Dreadnoughts, all with various guns. And I have a super heavy detachment from House Metallum, uh, often confused for House Hawkshroud, of a Valiant, a Crusader, and a um, Paladin. So it's one, two, three, four, five activations game-wise, because it's five detachments. Uh, and it's 251 power rating overall. But this is probably about 5,000 points worth of stuff on the table. Fight all this. <laughs> all these orcs. Yes. It's a lot of orcs. And this is 250 power. So what do you got? All right. So we've got four detachments broken up into two uh, battalions, one outrider and one... So Battalion? They're, I mixed them up a little bit. Okay, gotcha. up. But yeah, these from this middle line to the left is the one battalion that's got the uh, KFF with the war boss leading it, along with a bunch of shooters, some grots, some mech boys in the back, and then Berna's, Luda's with their trucks, and then that also has the two gun wagons in it, and that's that one. It's mostly all the guns. The next battalion has two just war bosses, along with the mega knobs, normal knobs, a truck, the battle wagon with, uh, with its death roller, and then a bunch of fight boys. Uh, the Supreme Command has the shock attack gun, the two weird boys, as well as the Stompa. Stompa. And then the Outrider has nine bikers, the scrap, ruck check, scrap. <laughs> the ruck wagon. That one. Yeah. And then a, <laughs> a, a scrap bunch wagon. of def copters. And you don't have to have an HQ. That's interesting. It's all these attachments don't have to have HQ choices to lead them. So like the ruck truck could actually be the commander of this one. Yeah. And then all of these could be the things that are, you Working know, with them. palm around basically, yeah. So here's my um, strategic assets deck. Uh, I'm using some some of the Imperial Knight cards, some of the Astartes cards, and then the Imperium uh, Chaos Gene Stealer Universal card, which is Hunter Killer Missile. So I have uh, Rotate Iron Shields and Oath Keepers. Oath Keepers is the Hawk Shroud one, which lets you basically ignore damage. Uh, Rotate Iron Shields is just what you think it is, remove Blast Marker. And then uh, I'm using one, two, three, four, five Imperial Knights cards that aren't from my house. Um, but alternatively, a command asset can be used when making a hit roll or wound roll. I can re-roll that dice. So these are basically re-roll cards now. Uh, and then for the Death Watch, I have three special ones. Special Shamo, Death of the Alien, and Mission Tactics. And these all let me do whatever it is the card says I can do. I have three generic Astarte Psych Powers, which are Psych, Scourge, Veil of Time, and Null Zone. You can only include these if you have a Psyker, and I do. And then two generic Astartes ones, which are Honor the Chapter and Orbital Barrage, because um, I have a Warlord who's an Astartes, and I also have a Astartes unit in my army. So that's gonna give me a grand total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm gonna take 14 cards from the just generic deck. And here's what Owen's got. So. For us, we have Lucky Blue Gits. So this is a Death Skulls um, specific one, which could also be a reroll. It is essentially reroll ones to hit, wound, and saves for one round. Uh, Opportunist is another Death Skulls. This one is target an enemy vehicle or character in your army. All my infantry get plus one to hit against it and to wound, I believe. All to hit rolls and wound rolls. Grot Shields. Uh, after your light orcs get hurt, Grots within six, take those hits instead. That Up to Z3 sense. of them. Pulse Rocket is basically a shoot a rocket out of a warlord and do a bunch of blast markers. Yeah, it's your hunter counter missile. Comes yeah. off your warlord. And then we've got three psychic powers, which is Warpath, Crunch, and Jump, Teleport a Squad, Kill Some Enemy Guys, and Everyone Fights More. Awesome. So you've got seven cards, which means you're taking seven, sorry, 23 from the main deck. Yeah. I mean, I discovered there's only 26 cards in the basic deck. 
you're gonna have to probably when you're doing deck construction each have your own box because for some of the factions there's just literally not enough cards to make a full deck with the with splitting the 26 card generic deck into two 13s so while this almost covers two players, it definitely token wise covers two players. You're not really going to have enough two players with Depending, a single box. Yeah, set. If, if you if you brought a entire apocalypse army of Harlequins, you couldn't do it. No, you'd have to bring a detachment of one of the other factions. Like I, I think that's the real reason is that you bring like you're you're definitely taking Asuriani tag. Yeah, like you're not taking. Because that, that, that increases the amount of cards that could be in this deck as well, right? Because right? I have the Imperial Knights and the Astartes that I can take, plus that one Imperium card yeah. that lets me that lets me build my deck. But you've just got Orcs. Yeah, the so Tyranid like, deck, I think, actually has like 50 cards in it. Yeah, it's got a bunch of cards. But the Orc one was also pretty big out of the collection cards. It's got at least 17. <laughs> if it doesn't have 17, you can't build the deck. Yeah. So we're in the mission generation now. We've got our decks built. We've got our armies selected. Um, the battlefield. Create the battlefield is described on page 26. Unless the mission you're playing instructs you otherwise, you should feel free to create an exciting battlefield. In general, we recommend having one feature in the battlefield for every 2x2 two two area. So we should have six features. Now because everything's on a movement tray, it's actually going to be easier for us to actually just follow that rule and have six terrain features on here. So here's the terrain. Now, terrain doesn't work quite the way it does in 40k. You embark and disembark it like a vehicle. So if a unit's wholly within six of it, it can forfeit its movement to move inside. And the whole terrain feature counts as that unit's basically like terrain from then on. It, it's occupying it. So it's um, it's a little more clean and simple. Works a bit the way Lore of the Ring did for terrain and stuff. Um, and then we do the generator table. So we start rolling for deployment and objective, twist, ruse, and sudden death. All right, so now we roll for deployment, which is a D6. And we roll a three, which is going to be one, two, three, search and destroy, table quarters, uh, 18 inches out from a central point. Then it's D12s for the objective, which you can roll. And we get a three. War of Attrition. If more enemy units were destroyed during this turn than friendly units, you score a VP. Then we have our Twist, which is what kind of crazy things happening in the, this world we're on. Uh, number two, the Witch Hunter. When the players generate command assets, in the general command uh, asset step, each can roll 1d6 for each attachment that includes a Psyker and a 4 plus to generate an additional asset. In either case, neither player can generate more than three command assets each turn as a result of this twist. Each of us is going to get one four plus shot and an additional command asset each turn. And then the ruse is also a D. Nope, there is a D6 actually. So what's the cunning ruse? A three. The blood of martyrs. Each time one of the defender's warlords is destroyed, the defender gains a command asset. That's cool. So you'll be gaining a command asset each time I kill one of your characters. Or warlords actually, not characters. And then the sudden death for the person who's the underdog. Three. Three. Endure. This sudden death victory condition is met. At the end of the battlefield, at least one warlord from your army is still alive. Means for the defender, I have to kill all of your warlords you start the game with. And your warlords, when they die, give you an additional command asset. So with the mission chosen, an army's mustered. Command assets are constructed and the battlefield is ready. You're now ready to deploy. Uh, before the battle begins, you must first set up your army, then select your commanders and your warmaster before preparing your command asset deck and then resolving any pre-battle abilities. Um, so details on how they should be set up to start the battle can be found in the mission you're using. So in this case, we're going to go back and forth, um, each de deploying a detachment, starting with, I think, the attacker. Defender, actually. The players alternate setting up a detachment. And once everyone's deployed, we then nominate commanders, select more masters, and prepare the command assets and resolve any pre-battle abilities. This playing has 6x4, we're probably actually not able to use this deployment style, because 18 back into a table quarter is bananas. So we're just going to play Dawn of War, which is 12 inches on, 12 from each other. And we're deployed, so we have Flyer Wing of One. Uh, we've got my battalion here. Two units of veterans are in the Razor Box, along with both my Chaplain and my Watchmaster. Uh, you can tell he's here because he's the commander of the, the unit. And then um, we get my intercessors over here. They all be within 12 inches of the commander, so you can see here they're in a bubble. This is a unit of one, or a detachment of one, so it's within range of itself. Then I've got my knights, uh, of which one becomes a character. Their trait, if they're all Questorus Imperialis, is that you get a warlord for free. One of them gets a character trait, so the Valiant here, Slayer, is going to get the warlord trait. Uh, and we've got two Punisher Vengeance Weapon Batteries. One becomes a commander. Uh, I've left my Terminators in reserve. Uh, actually, along with my Vanguard veterans, see Deep Strike, but the Vendreds with the Terminator Captain are on the table and commanders. And then over here, we have the um, last of the, the Flyboys, the Corvus Black Stars, which is also a commander because it's a unit of one flyer. And for you? Uh, so we've got one of the, the battalions here filled with the Fighter Boys and our commanders riding in the back of this uh, battle wagon. Uh, in the middle here, we have our scrap 
wagon. Rocket truck, rocket truck, That's track not wagon. What it's called. Okay. That's the other one. Okay. But he's the commander of the the outriders in the middle. Um, we have our little shock attack man. He's leading the supreme command of his wizards and this big guy. And then we have our main one with our war master commander, which is our little mech boy and power armor in there. Cool. So uh, it's four detachments for you. Uh, six for me, actually, because I forgot these are both units of one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have two reserves. You get nothing in reserve. Um, so we are now going to do our war masters. So we have our commanders all marked. Uh, warlords are ones who are characters. So I have one, two, three warlords on the table who are characters, which means I'll generate three extra cards each round. You've got three. Three as well, okay. The squig, the squig wagon's not uh, actually a character, doesn't the character tree weird. So for, now you have to nominate your War Master, which is the overall commander of your army. I'm gonna make Watch Master Mormont mine. I'm gonna roll a d12 to see what trait he gets. That's a nine. Four. And the War Master traits uh, are also gonna be rolled for Slayer over here, because the Knightly Lance gives him a, a War Master trait. So you have Martial Discipline. Friendly okay. units within six inches of this unit when they fall back can still shoot and or make fight actions in this phase. That's gonna be handy against Orcs. <laughs> and so I do get one for Slayer as well, because he doesn't count as the War Master, but he does get a Warlord trait for being part of a Knight Lance, because he's the boss. He gets a five. And I can't pick, I have to roll. You got a five. Supreme Tactician. Roll a d6 for if this unit is on the battlefield at the start of the order phase or is embarked in a transport. On a 4-up, you get one extra command asset. Nice. So my Librarian and my, uh, what should we call it, Slayer both get a 4-plus chance and extra card. Three, big boy. Three. Stealth Adept. Uh, that makes sense. This unit can only be charged, chosen as a target of an attack made with a ranged weapon if it's the closest enemy. Nice. So he just doesn't. It's, yeah, I can't even. You gotta can't kill even everybody shoot. around him first. So that with your sudden death being, kill I have to kill warlords. all the warlords. That's a super cool command trait to have, because I can't win unless I kill all your characters. So one, it's round one. There's potentially five here, uh, and we start off with generating command assets. So I have a four plus for my wizard to make an extra one, and I do. Uh, and then a 4 plus for Slayer to make an extra one. I do not. So I'm going to get a grand total of three characters who all generate one. Uh, three Warlords, sorry, that all generate one. And then one extra one for my wizard. You have a Weird Boy detachment. So do my Weird Boys give me an extra one? They do? Yes. And then I have three characters. And yep. then I have two Weird Boys within six inches of units of light orcs that have ten or plus models. Yep. So I get to draw three cards for each of them, and if any of them are psychic powers, I keep them in my hand. That's nice, because you're charging up basically from the orcs around with you. Wad and yeah, yeah. On my five cards, I get one base, three for characters, or three for warlords rather, and then one for um, the, uh, what should I call it? The, uh, the psychic power guy. The, he rolled a four plus to get me the extra one, which is the twist. Uh, and so I got this, 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 and these two, which do much as you think they will. Uh, so a lot of generic apocalypse ones, actually all generic apocalypse ones. Here out, it's initiative, order, action, damage. Initiative is a d12 roll, and if you tie the person who went second last turn, goes first this turn, which means you get the Lord of the Rings break ties. Uh, so let's see who's going first, turn one. I got a two. 11. Tier 11, so it's you who have the initiative. Yep. Uh, so now we go and place orders. Now there's, again, three types of orders. Advance, which is move plus an attack. Charge, double move plus a melee attack. And then, uh, is it sustained fire? Is that what it's called? Uh, no, it's not called. Stand and shoot. Aimed fire. <laughs> aimed fire. Advance, aim, assault. Advance, aim, assault. So aimed fire is don't move, plus one to hit with uh, shooting weapons, minus one to hit with melee. Right, we actually generate our cards after the initiative roll, which was, should have happened before the everything order else. phase right now. We'll be yep. first. We'll put a mark on any units that are out of command. Yep, which if, there's none. If they have two marks, they die. They just don't die. die immediately. Right. Um, or at least you have to test as described on thirty-three. Right. Um, set up your reinforcements. So if you have any tactical reserves, you'll set them up. That's B. And then C is generate our command assets, and then D is issue orders. Targets go face down. Red is for charge, green is for advance, and blue is for sit and shoot. Those are placed blind, and you can see they're placed next to the commanders. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six orders down now. Uh, and as you have the initiative, you get to reveal the first order and activate a detachment. An advance! The so fast boys. The fast boys are going to make an advance, which means they can move once up to their movements and, and then shoot, shoot or, or fight. fight. So, Defcoft has moved 14. There are two squads of three and one squad of two. These back boys are just going to end up on here. Yep, they ignore vertical movement. Because they fly. Uh, the bikers are going to drive. They drive 14. Nobody lives forever. <laughs> this is one big squad of nine. Yep. And they're all just... What's their wound characteristic? Uh, two? There's a lot of them. With nine, I think it goes up to like six. Three. Three. 
Yeah. Just going right in there. This is one big cavalry charge. <laughs> Charging on the night, the night light brigade, orc brigade. Yeah. Uh, these coptos are going to head this direction, I think. And they all have to end within a half inch of two or more, so they have to actually stay in a triangle, weirdly. And the next one. Staying in formation, yeah. as orcs are known to do. <laughs> orcs are well disciplined flyers. Everyone knows that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I guess the scrap truck will go over to this side. Yeah, same with 12 of his friends. Just cruise into that middle gap there. And then we finish moving. So I've done that. I'm not piling in. I move on to shooting. So I'm picking targets. You pick one of the units in the attachment, pick a target for its guns. Uh, if it's got more than one guns, you declare them all before you shoot, just like 40k. Yep. And then start shooting. Kill my Crusader. All right, cool. Yeah, we're going to put everybody into them eventually. So we'll start with the Super <laughs> Rockets. Uh, I need some dice. D6 is to hit, right? Yeah, so two units of three and a unit of two, two from Super Rockets. They're all range 24, so we're definitely in range. Yeah, first unit, you're good. And so we'll go with these back guys. They're hitting on fives because we're still made out of orcs. And no blue reroll. And you do have now. You do have the special rule, um, daka daka daka, for this whole army. Each attachment that's all made up of orcs does get the exploding sixes. Which we do have that. Yeah. So you got one hit. So you're wounding on a anti tank roll because this is a vehicle. Seven. Seven plus. Nope. Nope. So no blast marker. Second wave. Three shots. One. Daka daka daka. Nope. Still one. And then seven plus. Gets Cranks it. A little blast marker. Next squad of helicopters. No Nothing. hits. Let's go next. Two shots with his rivet cannon. He's okay. not in range with his burnas. Yep. Nope. <laughs> okay. And then we're moving on to the war bikers. They are going to have nine shots. And now you could target someone else with them if you wanted to. They're not particularly long range. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, he already has a blast marker, and you yeah. do make it. You do make it a big blast marker if you score at least one more hit. So They're all trying. going for him. Yeah. That makes sense. So hitting on fives because we're still orcs. So and two, two extras, sixes. yeah. Two daka daka dakas. Woo! There you go, so five. I don't think they continue to explode off of No, they don't. Just, it has the exact same wording as 40k. Yeah, so five on nines because you're a tank. That's right, and tank is nine for these on d12s. Mm -hmm. And you get two. two. First one makes the little one that I have a big, and then the second one becomes another little. So these are saves I have to make during the damage phase. These ones are on d6s, these ones are on d12s. Activated, done. So it's over to me. Make it real easy. Let's go uh, Punisher Cannons, I guess. We're gonna reveal that they have a sit and shoot up order. So they don't move and then they shoot a plus one. First, it's gonna shoot this bike unit. All right, it's the first one on sixes, or sorry, on, on fours rather. Uh, two hits, fives go to plus one for the order I gave them. And then I'm anti-tank. Personnel seven plus, anti-tank's 10 plus. So I'm doing on sevens. And I get one. One, same target. Uh, hits three times. And so it's again, switching different dice is weirding me out. Sevens, take three more. Or makes it two big blast markers. There we go. Punishers are all activated. Back to you. Revealing. Go main battalion here. Okay. And they are going to move. I don't know. Yep. Little boys are going to walk five. Because that's how they do. And then these little boys are going to do much the same. And the key with movement is no model unit can move more than their maximum or their total move, basically. Yep. Moving on trades and stuff. Now, I don't know how exactly that's going to work when you got like the the by fives trades GW is selling, but it makes it way easy when you're using a a, a, big, a big tray. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't change yeah. facing. More boss is just going to kind of tunnel through there. <laughs> Turtle through the middle. Hello, hello everyone. Sup, nerds. Uh, little pain boy is going to hang out in the middle here. I'm not even the warlord. This other guy's in charge. Well, this is his, his mech shop. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, this guy's only going to go half speed because he shoots twice if he goes half speed. That's special for your gun wagons. Yeah, these guys are going to go 12 though. Cruise up between them. Little mech boy is going to follow along. Little mech boy is going to follow along. Little grots are going to grot. We're here because light infantry nearby just don't die if we're here. Or at least they take a lot less damage. The big man is going to keep everyone in line, as you do. I like how his face is that command token now. Yeah, he's holding it in his teeth. He's holding his teeth. <laughs> Show uh, everyone who the boss is. These guys will shimmy up like so, and this big guy is going to move half speed as well. And you got one more mech there too. Yeah. I think we'll do that. You know what, I think these guys will actually drive this way. Okay. And be there. We're going to sacrifice the front wave pretty badly here. Um, as orcs do. <laughs> But that's okay. Now look at how quickly you just moved. How many miniatures? Move a trace? 60. 
60? That's pretty 70, fast. 70, 80 if you count 90, 100 if you count the guys inside the, guys the vehicles. The vehicles, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That's you advanced. Fun. We're going to start with the gun wagons because they're all out of range. Okay. <laughs> Actually, they won't be because you're you're good. You've, you're on the twelve. So I am on the twelve. Some yeah. of their guns are going to be in range. The big gun, at least. Yeah. So we'll open with that. This is kill cannon. He's going to take some shots. Any other guns going to be in range? Your shooters are also range thirty six. And I had to. So it's one power LUT rating for each shooter. Oh wow. But I had to pay it because I needed the points in the end to get right. to two fifty. Got it. But it adds a bunch of dice, which is why I'm like, it's not that bad. And how many can you take? Three? Four. Four? That's nice. Yeah. Okay, cannon? Normally it shoots, it's shooting twice, so normally it shoots how oh, many no, times? it's only range 24. The regular cannon is, so he's just oh, shooting his gotcha. shooters. Okay. And the shooters hit on fives, because he's an orc. Thank nope. you for coming in. <laughs> the next one? Uh, we'll do the other gun wagon over at the other end here. Yep. Is he within 24? Probably. Oh yeah, he'll oh, take yeah. some shots at that dreadnought there. Sounds good. We'll just put everything into him. So his kill cannon, hitting on fives as well. Four shots now, and yep. he gets one hit, and then it damages everything on sixes. Sixes. Gets Bam. blast. Stop. It's big shooters. Same target. One six. And two. That's two. And those are on. His tank. Tanks nines. No. Infantry, they're sevens. Nope. Nope. Range. Range eight. We'll shoot the shooter on the truck though. Same Do target. It. He'll shoot at this guy. You got it. This yep. is, but good damage on nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, regular boys. 24 inch range. Gun. The looters in the back of that truck are going to shoot the knight that we've already been taking pot shots Makes at. Makes sense because you're open topped. Yeah, so they have four times the number of attacks they normally do. So that's eight two? shots. Eight shots. And then how do they, uh, they have anything special against vehicles? Or is it just their rating? They're seven against everything. Okay. So they just shoot whomever happens. They don't reroll against yeah. vehicles like they do in 40 cats all. No, those are tank busters. These oh, are right. So they just looters. That's right. Yeah. So hitting on fives. Lots of dacas. Two extra shots. Woo, nice. two extra hits. There you go, six hits. Six hits on sevens, because it's always sevens with them. Rut row. No. Oh. Look at the sixes. Oh, I'm so sorry, just one. One? <laughs> it goes to a big. Wow. Oh, 50, 50, the dice. We got one. The dice. Seven, five. Daka, daka, daka. One. Sad. Nine. He does That's it. it. There you go. <laughs> he plays a little. Guys does, does equally well to the actual rockets. Yeah. Orc noisy face. Big shooters from the boy squads, which shoot 24 or 32 uh, or something. 36, yeah. Okay. They're going to shoot their big shooters at that guy as well. Nope. nope. And then these guys will do the same thing. Yeah, piling shots into the knight. There you go. Two on nine. Gotcha. One more. And that's them done. Man, that's, that's a lot of resolving stuff quickly. Uh, so it's over to me. Who do I want to activate? I think we're going to activate this Corvus Black Star. Uh, it's going to pivot. Well, it doesn't actually have to pivot and turn, it just moves. It just, it just doesn't move. move. It's going to go 40. Uh, yeah, it's going to go 40 over here. And just hover, because it does fly. But it had an advanced rotor. Uh, so it's going to shoot some guns at you. Hunt some helicopters, boys. Uh, so the Black Star has a 3 plus to hit, and it's got a rocket launcher. Sorry, two storm strikes, launchers, twin last cannons, and armor bulk. I gave it twin assault cannons instead of last cannons. So four shots with assault cannons on threes. Into the front unit. Uh, there's four hits, uh, and then it wounds. Are they vehicles or infantry? So eight plus rating for the assault cannons, and I do one blast. Strike missile launchers. So two shots, uh, and they are on threes. Both hits, and then anti tank rating for a storm strike is a six. So one more blast. Goes to a big one. Hurricane bolters get two shots uh, at threes and has rapid fire so it's gonna get four shots total so three hits and then against vehicles the hurricane bolters on a nine and that is two more blasts okay not a big okay, it's back to you stompa big team stop us gonna advance yep yep we're gonna just kind of casually move the shock attack in so you can keep watching this. <laughs> make a hole is he the boss no uh, yeah he is <laughs> nice i am dick captain <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one's your which one's your war master again this guy. That guy, guys. The, the one, one carrying the his one holding his teeth. Of course yeah. he is. He's in charge. Who so is mech for good? boy is going to walk out. And this little guy is going to hang out too. And the big guy is just going to move into that hole. Convenient gap. Uh, but we're going to play some cards. As you do. Because. Yeah, activating. So in the action phase, you can play these. And we are going to.
crunch. And we're gonna try and crunch this big guy here. All right, when you do that, I'm gonna play Perils of the Warp. I have to roll a d12, and if it's higher than your um, leadership characteristic, uh, you get a blast marker. Leadership, can't leadership not great, probably. I roll a nine. I imagine you're not leadership nine. Blast. We'll see if that kills him later on. Yeah. Right. Three oh. d12s. Every five plus, you take a blast. Oh god. One, two, three. Ah. On the big guy. So another big one and a little one. Again. We're gonna smite you now. Uh oh. Uh, choose a psyker to manifest. On a two plus, place a bass marker. And on a seven plus, it's two. Okay. I'm gonna play adamantium will. Uh, and Durell, this will be against this guy because it is closest. Sure. Yeah. So uh, this command has to use when your opponent uses the command set to psych power before it's resolved. When used, roll a d6. On a 1 to 3, it's resolved. On a 4 to 6, you go back into. Uh, on a 4. Uh, I keep this command asset in my hand, actually, instead of discarding it. On a 4 to 6, the effects of the command asset are not resolved, and this card is discarded. So on a 4 plus, I stop this card. And if on a 1 to 3, I keep the card, but it goes away. So no, I discard this card, and you discard this mine. Shooting. Alright, alright. Well, the psychic powers, they were cool. Now we're going to stop. Okay. Big shooters? It's all anti-tank nearby, so he might as well just shoot that. And he'll shoot you with the big shooters. Everything's gonna go into this fella, I think. Do it. No, that's not true. Some of these guns should shoot elsewhere. He's gonna fire his... Def... No, it doesn't matter. Def cannon at this one. Okay. And then the rest will go into the big guy. So, big shooters, nothing. And then Super Gatla gets 12 shots. And two more little dice shots. Two. Yeah, 12 shots. We'll reroll the two of them. Reroll three because you got a deck of deck of deck as well. Well, this might get another That's true, one. yeah, That's yeah. It. So two and more, two two more shots. There we go. Four so hits. Four. And then this one damages vehicles on eights. Eights. And this is against uh, the guy who's already hurt. Yeah, of course. Pile it on. Take one. Another one. Let's go big. Super Rocket. He's firing one of those as well. Two shots from it on the guy who I targeted originally. Oof. And another shot. Okay. Any tank. On a four. That's pretty good. And, and another big guy. More. Six blast markers on this guy now. And it's is, pretty great. The main gun is into this fella. Okay. Hitting on fives. One extra shot. One daga daga daga. Two. And these are on fives. Take two more. Two more. So large. Lost here. All kinds of done. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do Team Titans over here, and they're gonna Overwatch, fire. Sorry, uh, and take some shots into. Oh, I don't know. Let's say Mo. Who's got Who's got the guns? Let's do it into. I think your truck. It's filled with flamethrowers. It is filled with flamethrowers. <laughs> let's do it in the truck. Let's do it into the big truck. First one. He's got a uh, storm bolter and a big plasma cannon. His heavy plasma cannon gets one shot, sevens and sevens, on a two plus, rerolling ones. I don't know why I in with these guys. Uh, so it hits, and, and then, then... One thing is you are minus one to wound him, because he's in a custom okay, force field. Okay, so I need an eight plus to wound him. Doesn't. Uh, then his storm bolter is one shot, uh, two plus. Nope, uh, reroll ones though, because the watch cannon's nearby. Hits, and then I need a ten plus. Which I don't. Last cannon and a missile launcher into the same target. Twin last cannon is two shots on two plus rolling ones. Both hits. And then uh, two to wounds on five sixes because of the KFF. There's two, so a large blast on that big tank. A missile launcher is one shot on a two plus. Uh, and then it's on an anti tank of seven plus, so eight plus because of your KFF. It does another small. It's plasma cannon, same thing, single shot. Oh, and a supercharge. Ooh, I'm gonna do supercharge, which means if I roll any ones to hit after rerolls, I take a blast marker. So two plus, rerolling. Uh, so I hit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and plus one to wound. Actually, sorry, not destroyer. So it's uh, a, a net roll of seven, and I get it exactly. So it's worth the difference. It. Yeah, doesn't a blast. Single storm bolt shot. Same guy, which hits. Oh, and doesn't win on sixes. And nine storm bolter. That's right. It is actually yeah. That's ten anyway, just because you're a. Oh. a Big robot. You guys are done, so it's your last activation. These fellas? We're coming. <laughs> Go get them. Double move. <laughs> Make a big drive, because you get double move. So they can move 24, but we can't leave everyone behind. This is true. Because these guys can only get to here, so the big truck can only drive up to that distance without leaving everyone to die. And you can only make melees after not shoots, but this is a big turn for you. Deep. Hawk, hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? He's moving forward. There we go. Five out. We're going 
move forward again. I guess he'll he'll rotate his bum his a little bum. bit yeah, yeah. just to keep everybody in line. And then it, it actually wouldn't really matter. You get an early coherency at the start of the turn. And then as long as you move back, back in, in, it's not really a yeah. huge deal. So even if he didn't do that wiggle, he'd get an early coherency to the start of the next movement phase. And it's not really a, like gonna end the world. Don't do some tank melee. Tank on yeah. tank violence. Hits on fives. Go for it. One attack. Five? Nope. nope. All right, well, it's time for Team Knightly to go, I guess. And I think we're going to play a card using the action phase. Uh, and we're going to select an enemy super heavy unit. Until the end of the turn, I can reroll hit rolls for attacks made by your units that target the selected unit. So we're going to pick Big Boy. Yep. And we're going to reroll our hits against him. Let's walk 12. We're going to walk sideways with him. Just stepping over his markers. Hello. Now I'll go with him. Uh, big fella is going to walk up. He can walk 12 as well. So 8 and then 4. They have an advance, by the way. Like that. And his friend, the big friendly, will go up as well. 8 and then 4. And be up here. Further. Uh, and then I guess start shooting some guns. You're going to go up a bit further, too. Yeah. Where's my errant with the giant murder melting gun, um, which is thermal cannon. That's destroyer, two shots, threes. Roll my misses, thankfully. Trophy kill, two hits. And then it wounds on a four against vehicles, five because of your KFF. And there's two wounds and it's destroyer, so it's four blast markers, which means two big ones. Got a stubber, what does it do? Uh, one shot on a 10 plus, it needs an 11 to wound. So threes and then 11 to wound. Nope. All her guns. Uh, so then we're gonna do the Valiant. So the Convocation Gun just does six hits. It wounds on eights and nines because of your being in the KFF. So uh, nines. Have to hit me? It's an auto hit torrent. Oh, okay. Yeah, so these two miss, and I do four more blast. So yeah. two, two bigs. I got two Shield Breaker missiles, which are one use only, so we'll just fire them both uh, on threes. And then Shield Breaker missiles are. Uh, five plus, six plus now because you're shield, shield. KFF. Uh, one more. And then shield breaker cannon, or sorry, siege breaker cannons. There's two of them, so four shots. Uh, sevens and sevens. So threes to hit. Reroll my misses because of trophy kill. And then sevens to damage, so eights because you're KFF. Take two more. We get to go. We get four shots of the Gatling cannon. Hitting on threes. Rerolling because of trophy kill. And then uh, they will wound on eights, nines, because you're KFF. So nines. So take one more. Uh, he's got a Rough Heart Battle Cannon, four shots. Hitting on threes. Oh, jeez. Dropping nice. Rerolling because of Trophy Kill. And then wounding on sixes, sevens because of the KFF. Take two more. And the Icarus Auto Cannon, two shots, eights, and eights. It gets bonuses against things that fly. Uh, Rerolling. So two, and then nines to damage. Uh, one, two, two more, another big blast. And that's them done. Uh, so I've got two units left to activate. We're gonna start with the Corvus Black Star. Got an advance. We're gonna fly, uh, I guess just into the middle of everything. Now we'll fly behind you. Why not? Whoop. Just go back there where your tray is. Put some dice on them. Drops from the assault cannon again into the back unit of uh, helicopters on threes. And then they wound on, on eights. So one, two, three. Eight plus. Take one small blast. Then it's uh, the Stormstrike missile launcher. So two shots on threes. One. And then it wounds on a six. Uh, nothing. Cane Bolter gets four shots rapid firing. Uh, missing completely. It's just a battalion, and they're going to advance. We're just going to make our advance, which is going to be Rhinos moving up. Eh. These guys actually are just going to screen. <laughs> These guys are going to move back. They're going to move sideways. He's going to fall back out of combat, but he can't shoot. These guys are going to move in. We're going to move sideways. And then they'll just continue to occupy this building. Razor back into your truck. murder truck on threes. And then on eights. Yep, for eights. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Motor shots. One hit on a nine. Another one? Kind of actually, but I rolled an 11. Uh, and then this one can't fire. The bikers. We'll do the um, the 
what should we call it? The incinerators first, and they will. Do I want to rapid fire supercharge? Yeah, I will. We're going to rapid fire and supercharge, so we'll shoot this tank as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, shots. Eh? Ten shots. No, wait, sorry. Ten. One shot. Ha! Hits. And then it is. Six against tank. Uh, six against tank. So one more. Keep trying to count guys because it's like 40k. Um, so they're done. We'll do you guys. Four shots rapid firing from these guys. They're going to put some into the boy squad actually because they're within 12. And hit three times against boys. I think it's a six it's actually. Uh, one, two, three. Balls are all going to pile their guns into the big tank. I cannon first. Oh my gosh. It has a 24 inch range inferno. That's crazy. I'm going to fire into the boys. Like, no, I'm firing into here. No, I'm firing into the boys actually. Three plus. Misses. But it's in front. That's right. I'm just rolling to wound. And... Probably man, not does, a two. Two shots in the Inferno Heavy Bolter, which we'll also put on the boys. On threes. And then on sixes it does damage. Uh, one more. It's just these fellas, and they'll fire their bolt guns into, I guess, this truck as well. One hit. And I guess it needs a nine. I don't think eight'll do it. All my shooting, that is turn one. So we gotta resolve some blasts in the damage phase. Starting with the player with initiative and starting with any titanic units before anything else. All right, seven six up armor saves on D6s because they're low, actually it's eight. Six ups. How many damage do you have? I can take eight, but I have to make one of these. You have to make one of these. And you make? Zero, I'm dead. All right, so he takes equal to wounds and blast and the stompa goes down. So now I'm gonna play a card called Telekine Dome. Uh, the command asset can be used to start the damage phase. When used, select a Psyker from your army to manifest it, and a friendly unit within 12. Until the end of the phase, roll d12s for their saving throws, respective of the blast markers. So I'm going to play it on my knight here, and make my six saves on d12s instead of d6s. Do you have anything to play? I deny the witch. Okay. Uh, two plus, you don't get that. Oh. Go away. Okay. <laughs> so I got to make fives. Six saves on fives, I have to make at least two of these to not die. Fives! I make one, so I'm dead. That's five wounds, he's only got five. Titanic unit to make a save. He's got a big blast. It's on a five. Nope, he takes a wound. Uh, and he gets a damage marker. So he has to take three before he scribbles. He's five. Be your after round up. He's going to have half until he gets to three. Um, but he's got one on now. Okay, nobody else with blasts. Uh, it's on to regular units. And you have initiative. So these fellows. They're going to take two damage. Okay. Because they have a 10 plus save. And they can't make it on D6s. Nope. And what's the damage capacity of a boys unit? Four. Oh, so we're halfway there. So they have to make. They're now uh, considered to be critically damaged. So they are minus one to hit with all their weapons. Yep. Hey, with heavy weapons, that's right. Yeah. And what, I think you just have to make a morale test. So put down your two blasts. You don't move your blasts until you, after you make morale. He's got to make a d12 and two d6s. Uh, yeah, he has an eight up. So against the blast, the little one, he passes. It. So he takes two wounds, though, two damage. But you have a six up shrug against all damage because you're ramshackle. And nope. almost. So, so he, he only two has wounds. two wounds, so he's gone. And that means you immediately disembark with the units that are inside. You have to actually roll to see if things explode, too. So I have to roll for my Titan on a 10 plus. Nope. And on your Stompa. 10 plus? I thought it was a 6 plus. D12. And then no, it's a D12. Yeah. No, uh, the guys in, inside might get blasted they, after they disembark. No. Nope. No. Nope. So does he explode as well on 10 plus? Yep. He does. So they're not actually going to take anything because they're not um, there when he explodes, but a blast marker for every unit within six. Cool. So uh, it's going to be not them, but your tank here, 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 looks like. Yep. Yeah. And not quite the Hellblasters. It's removed. And then on a one, on a one, each of these units might take a blast marker. So this is one unit. Yep. Nope. nope. And, and then for him. Boss. Nope. Just make some saves now. So for these guys, they're fine with 12. To you. Time. Yeah, we go back and forth. Okay, uh, the gun, the wagon's now damaged, so on a six up. He takes takes a wound. Plus. That one you can block, yep. I and you. Six. Okay, take a wound. I'll take a wound. I'll take two wounds, yep. And how many do you have? Three. Three? It's all not quite destroyed. Yep. Saves to make here, this rhino rolls a nine is okay. Uh, for your next roll. Uh, the bikers don't have any saves against that either. Because they can't d6 it and pass a ten or something. Yeah, they have like an eight or nine. So two wounds. For them, and then that, uh, yeah, do it, do it, live! 10 plus. 10 plus. Ah, he dies. Back. I've got a dreadnought to make a save for. He's gonna fail and take a wound. And then six Mistruck, plus. Struck, yep. No. Does have ignore damage on a six, which he fails. Morale checks. Uh, we have to roll a d6 and add the number of blast markers we have. We take a wound counter if we fail. A one's always a pass. So uh, you have initiative, so you pick a unit and start first. Him. He's there's there's five, there's there's five. Two on him. One, two, three, he lives. Nope, nope, he's gone. He's dead. Anybody inside? Nope. Okay. Ray's leadership seven, so he fails on a six. 
And he passes. Bikers, leadership. Seven. So plus two. They die. It's an eight. They die too. Because they only have one wound left. That's right. Your knights. Uh, has one on him. Six. I think he fails. Leadership seven, actually. So he passes. Back to you. Uh, Death cop is. I mean, I could roll a one. One or two, they don't run. Yep. Good. good. And then these guys, uh, one, two, three. Now oh, they're going to take another wound. Okay, so they both go to two. For me over here, leadership seven, because they're veterans. Uh, they're good. It's a six. Back to you. Leadership six. They're good. Good. Six for the tank. Also good. Leadership five for the tank. He's good. And then leadership uh, six for these guys. They're good as well. And one. All kinds of carnage. We're in round two. Uh, so first thing is initiative. And you went first last turn, so we tie. Uh, it's going to be me going first. So eight. Done. So that's me going first anyway. Yep. Still have one, two, three commanders left. Uh, for my Psyker who's still alive on a four plus, I gain an extra card. And for my big um, leadership trade on my Knight, the Valiant Slayer, he gives me an extra one too. So I'm going to get five cards this round. My you get to roll for your Psyker? Yep. Nope. Not and the then. Bonus. And he still has three units right. nearby, so I'll get to draw three. If it's a Psychic Power, I can keep it. You can keep one and then shuffle. And none of them are psychic powers. So you shuffle back up. I drew. Uh, we got this, this, and this guy, that, and this. Okay, so time to set up some orders uh, and set up any reserves actually first. Orders are down. I've all set up reserves. So my Terminators have arrived over here, and my Vanguard veterans have arrived over here. And I have the initiative. So I think this company is actually going to go first, this battalion. Uh, and I'll reveal that I have a advance order. So we're going to move. Uh, these guys are just going to fly over. So advancing, these guys are going to go, they're eight and then four more, just to get in the melee. Uh, these guys are just going to move, wrap it around. I'm going to disembark some veterans from this tank, like so. Disembark their chaplain, and then I'm going to disembark my watchmaster right here, uh, and then this guy's gonna disembark on the unit as well, first actually, and then we'll disembark right here, like that. You're happy to just kind of dirtle and hide. And then these fools are gonna move back in so that they can be near the boss. Let's shoot some guns and do some melees. The veterans, uh, we're going to, I guess, drop our, we'll drop our frag cannons on them. We'll drop, that's both. Fry, fry cans and furnaces. The fry cannon auto hits and on a six does a blast. Does not. Um, and then I could spend a card. Furnace table shots shots on threes and the same target. Uh, one hits, can't reroll a two. Furnaces reroll everything actually. And so he hits twice. And then on sixes against infantry. One, so one small blast. These guys are gonna shoot, same thing. So auto hitting with the flamer on a six. Doesn't do a blast, and then two shots from the Infernus, re-rolling for the Watchmaster, and then on a six, does a blast. These guys, same target, so the uh, auto-hitting Fry Cannon does the damage. Two shots from the Infernus, both hits on sixes, nothing. Team Bolters over here, which is going to be four shots, because they're two attacks with Rapid Fire. Hitting on threes, re-rolling, oh, they might not be in range of the Watchmaster, actually. They are. On threes, and then I think they need fives or sevens. Sorry, more on sevens. Uh, nothing. Mr. Saw Cannon is going to go into the same target and hit four times. Four on sixes, and there's two. So two more into that knob squad. The Storm Builder gets two shots on threes. We're going for the Watchmaster, and then a three one. Uh, this second one over here is going to shoot the same target. Hitting on threes with its salt cannons. Reeling for the Watchmaster. And then sixes. Does four more blasts. So two more big blasts into the knobs. Storm Bolter. Oh, sorry, two shots. Because rapid fire. One. One. And it wounds on a seven. No, ah, uh, yes, a nine. So that small turn is really big. So these fellas are going to put their shots into. I guess the knobs, because he's not closest. Nice one. Yeah, we'll try. I roll everything. Uh, we won't bother rapid firing. So it's on a three. Shot, I mean uh, overheating. Two shots, sorry. Because rapid fire. Rolling misses. 
And then against infantry, and fives against your boss. Uh, two hits, big blast. And we'll have the intercessors do the same thing. Take on fours, because you're obscured. Rolling, oh, I'm too far to reroll misses, so I just don't even hit you. Just melee weapons over here. Minus three attacks on threes. And then winning in sixes against infantry. Go get them, boys. Uh, two more, so a big blast. Everyone else is a melee duder, so they're not fighting right now, and that's it. Nope. The helicopters. <laughs> choppa time. Choppa, choppa, choppa. Chop, chop, choppa. <laughs> We're going in. And the squig truck. Squig truck's going to do some stuff. So you got a charge attack, which is actually pretty good. So they move 28, everyone oh, in this group. You uh, have to get into base contact, though. So you, you probably are better off going after the one in the back just to wrap around it. We can all fly. I'm yep. tempted, actually, to just hard left and go fight way over here. Because we can all fly, and we yeah, can yeah. move that far. That's true. Yeah, you should go behind us. The only problem is the truck needs to come along. He's the he's the problem. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, you're only at a coherency at the start of the next turn. So if you can make it there later, or you're they could okay. all die, or they could all just die. I mean, I've gone over here with everything, right? So I need to find a way to get some damage out of them. It's if I put blasts on these guys, though, they're host. So well, there, are there is that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Go for that dread. No. You also fight these guys. We'll just go for the planes. We'll do okay. what the original plan was, which was tackle other planes. Tackle other planes. I mean, you are the best ones to do it. So one gets to the base space, the other just go behind him. Yeah, that's all that has to happen because it's a unit. It's a little bit of wobbly model going it's on. It's fine. Now. It's all good. We we'll just take that. We we'll just take this thing off. Don't worry about it. It's more cinematic that you are hovering over me. I imagine screaming "Flight of the Valkyries!" Like da 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 da. <laughs> we'll send another squad. Just chanting it. And they'll wobbly model up here as yeah. well. And underneath. Being what they're doing. And then uh, we'll send the healthy squad. Oh. I guess we'll try and take some wounds out on this guy. No, because then we can't shoot him with other people. Just we go all in and kill this plane. Okay. He'll be... He is supersonic still, remember. All three squads attacking with spiked rams. No, no, they're heading with Killaway. This this guy is going to oh, gotcha. come cruising in and crash into that squad back there. So you can't actually move into the building oh, without occupying it. it. Yeah, because you have to try and occupy it first. So you're occupying it then. Yeah, I'm occupying it right now. Yeah. All right, which means, which means the, pl the planes are fine doing what they're doing. He just can't go inside with it. Plan. He just moves into the building. You got it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Doesn't go inside. Any of them could also, if this thing, you know, piles up markers and you don't care, also attack the, um, the intercessors building. occupying the building. Run it up so your three goes to two. And except for the two-man squad, I think, goes to one. They're and not then, wounded yet. Oh, that's right, they're not wounded. Yeah, yep, so they're So fine. they're four attacks with their spinning blades. Uh, you see all the units together? No, this is one unit. One unit, okay. Because it's times two, but <laughs> whatever your stat is. Yeah, got it. The stats two. So into the plane, hitting on threes, because we're orcs. And then we got a six, so yeah, we get yeah. an extra attack. It's a daka daka. Oh, that's right, it works in early two. That's nine. right, because it, it, it combines goffs basically into the daka daka daka. But it's nines, because you're a vehicle. So you can one. take one hit. The space plane. Second squad, two hits. For another one, large blasts. And the third, third squad, wow, nothing. And truck? A little truck, he's not very good in melee. He kind of wants to shoot, but at least he's not stuck in combat if it's a building. Hitting on fours, getting one hit. <laughs> Wounding on tens, no. no. Actually attacking the guys in the building because he doesn't have the fly keyword, so he can't fight the black star. Yes. All right, and that's them. Let's activate Team Robots, uh, and they are going to advance. Five, we'll walk in up six, as we do, and then we'll walk in up five. Totally forgot to mention, I scored a VP last round because I, I destroyed more of your units than you destroyed of mine. I destroyed, you destroyed my knight. Um, and I destroyed your Stompa, Stompa a truck, a truck, truck, and a like, truck. yeah, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Let's do some shooting of the LAS cannons into this and the missile launcher now as well. So LAS cannon gets two shots on twos, rerolling ones because we're next to the boss. A five against vehicles, is your KFF still there? Oh, yeah. So sixes, one. One yeah, last. So launcher also on a two, rerolling ones. And then it is on a seven, goes to an eight, does one more. Gannons, uh, we might as well supercharge. So supercharging to just counteract the KFF. Hits and eight will wound. Second one, uh, supercharging but re-rolling. And then it's a seven as well. Nine, does another one. Uh, and they both also had storm bolters, just one shot. Two plus, I think it needs an 11. <laughs> sure, take a blast. And then this one, two plus, an 11. 
No. Over here, one shot on a two plus, and then an 11 because of the KFF. Nope. And then Storm Bolters from the Terminators. One attack with Storm Bolters. Storm Bolters are all going to go into the um, boys. boys. And we'll put the Cyclone in there as well, actually. So first the, the Storm Bolters, two shots on threes. And then they wound on Death of Storm Bolters on sevens. Eights, Eights because of your thing. Yeah. One blast. And then two shots from the Cyclone on threes. And they wound on sevens against everything. So eights because the KFF. So two more. No, one more. That's a six. These fools all finished. Oh, that's right. Warlord. Aim the guns, boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. No moving, all shooting. Burners. Yep. Six auto hits, wounding on sevens. Uh oh. So six D12s. Yep. There's. Sevens. One, mm, two, two, three. three. My asset card is a reroll to wound. Yeah. Proper killy. Nope. Nope. So three blasts. Shots from the shoot is on fours because you're taking aim. And you know what? We're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and bring the big guy down. Okay. So eight shots hitting on fours with exploding sixes. Not too shabby. Got him, boys. Holy moly! Okay. okay. Two, Two more. more? Shots. Well, here's one. So ten. And then I'll reroll it. <laughs> nope. Eight. Okay. Eight of them on nines. Why not? Do it. Big numbers. These are five pluses. One. One. Last. Two big shooters. Same thing. They all just miss. Okay. Oh, doing it again. Eight more shots. Fours. And then one six. Turns into five. Five on nines. Do it. Spike dice. Nothing. Nothing. Spike big shooters. One hit. Nothing. Nothing. Looters times. So looters will go. They're going to try and shoot this big guy, seeing as everyone else couldn't do it. So they have eight shots as well. And fours, but they have a much better hit tank rating of seven, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Fours. And then six hits. Six dice on sevens. There you go, two. Set for a reel to wound. Yeah, try and get another one of these in here. Nope. nope. Do I have any more of these? That's a One shot. Up. Misses. Uh, Does he have a rocket or something? No, they had big shooters. Oh, this is my, my big guy? Boss, no, he has yeah. melee weapons. Got it. This guy's gonna go try and shoot your big guy there. And he'll shoot you with his cannon first, hitting on fours. And then we'll spend a reroll to hit. The you got old one? ways. Yep. The old ways. The old ways. So four hits. There you go. Damage on sixes. Because he's got a kill cannon. Big kill cannon. Getting two. two. It's a big box. Two shots. Fours. Three extra shots. Oh my god. And there we go. So six shots on, on nines. Nines? Yep. Oh, the Baroness takes one, two, three. three more. How of the blasts? Up to four big ones. Just good killer. So out of 12s, no more shots. And that's, that's their activation done. Let's do you. <laughs> you need to get out of here. Luckily, you fly. So you can just move and still shoot when you fall back. So you're going to go in behind this whole unit of boys and place him so he's close. Jeez. He's closest that to that guy. Time. Dump it all into him. Try and kill him. Four assault can shots dropping into him on threes. And then it's uh, anti personnel sixes, but sevens because you have KFF. There's one. Freak missile launcher gets one shot, but I have two of them. So on threes. Uh, and then it's going to be a 10 plus for infantry. Doesn't like hitting infantry apparently. So 11. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. And then hurricane bolters, two shots, rapid fire. So four shots hitting on threes. There's four hits. And then on sevens goes to eights because of your KFF. I do two more. It's all short. He's done. The Go wizard. Aim shots. Friend. Yep. He's going to aim that uh, big uh, cannon. I have to find his stats in this pile. Big lady. Yeah, two shots on fours from the big zap gun. Yes. And then if I have any more rerolls, I'm going to use them. Yeah, obviously. And I do. We'll get rid oh, of tactics. I think she's going to die. <laughs> Force rerolling. Still nothing. All right. Destroyer. Oh, Take another, another big loss. Yep. Not, not feeling great, <laughs> but they're they're done. The Vengeance Cannons, and they're gonna take some shots, starting with the leader. We're gonna shoot in this boy squad over here. Alright, so Vengeance gets six shots of the Punisher on fours, because I'm doing an aimage fire. So one, two, three, four, five, six into these guys who have a grot shield though. Uh, that's gonna be one, two, three, four. Oh, I rolled too many dice. 
Four, four hits on seven. <laughs> That's right, shouldn't happen. Uh, so it's three, and then they are anti-personnel seven plus, so you're in the KFF, which means eight plus. Yep. Eights, take two. This one into the other squad on fours. Getting three as well. They're not in the shield. They're not in the shield, so that's one. And your last activation. The kill. The charge. Here come the boys, the boys. Marking out of a vehicle when you're doing a charge order is simple because you just come out into melee basically because you can be within an inch. I think we need to disembark. Yep. Oh, Omega They actually have to be a triangle. That's right, yep. And they're going to the building. Uh, you actually charge the building, weirdly enough, but it's fine. Oh, okay. And then the next one. The biggest boy, he's yep. going to just jump out six to there. Yep. Uh, Team Knob Squad. The Knob Squad is going to just go. Whatever. And then we'll do that. And he'll go into here. Actually, you know what? No. He's going to just join him on that truck. Okay. And then the second Knob Squad is going to get out. Knobs. Yep. Oh, that's following this guy here. Yep. And they're going to go pound in the squad. Yep. And this thing's going to drive forward. Oh, yeah. And then hit me. I'm going to move it. Yeah, might as well. Okay. Just drag it. Because it doesn't matter how many of them are nearby for this fight. You just want to be able to be in coherency. The guys in the rear. Uh, they're just going to pile in. Yep. So they pile in three. three. They're, already, they're already basically they're just in melee. That. Yep. And these guys are moving 10. Not really getting anywhere, but getting getting into yelling range. And most importantly, within 12 of their commander. Yep. And they're going to come up and stand on the back of their base. Yep. With that. They may not quite have made it, but they will definitely make it next round. Oh, you're fine. So the front group did, yeah. Stabbing, stabbing time. Nobs, nobs, nobs. And fight the unit of veterans. Yep. Six okay. attacks. Six attacks on threes, you're rolling ones. So uh, five. Extra attack. And yeah. Six. Death to the false humans. Yeah. <laughs> Wounding on sixes. Do it. Because they weren't wound everything on sixes. That's right. And we're just space marines. Six. Okay. The damage is three dax from Jabba's, yep. Would have had six, but, but they're injured. They've yeah, got wounds. So they'll just get another one. There we go. Four hits. Wounding on. Wounding on with little boy sticks. Sevens, because you're infantry. Okay. One, two. Awesome. The Vanguard vets. Yes. <laughs> the knob train, sure. Yep. Uh, same thing, so yeah. six stacks on threes. Six stacks on threes. <laughs> Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, because the war boss is nearby. Yeah, missed with three that. extra attacks, though, from the pain train. Yeah. Leaving the station. There we go. Uh, this is Jeez Louise. So, Four uh, eights. Eights on sixes? Yep. My veterans may not be doing well after this. Sixes. Uh, uh, two, four, five? Five. Large and a small. And the death wagon, yep, the death roller. Attacks on fives, roll over some dudes. Rerolling ones, because the war boss is still nearby. Yeah, nice. And then also a uh, extra attack. Nope. Take up two. So two. And then on sevens. sevens. Just sevens against everybody. Nothing. Knobbing knobs times three into the intercessors. Punch into the building. Two attacks with mega armor melee weapons. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Extra attack. Heck yeah. Three on sixes. One, two, three. Ugh. Big and small on the intercessors. Two attacks. He's gonna go into the tank. Sure. Uh, so he's two on twos, re-rolling ones. He did it. And then he wounds on sixes. Oh, sorry, eights. <laughs> Good God. One, One. twos, re-rolling ones. And then eights again. Two more. Oof. This is them, so it's just me left. I have a plane and I have my knights. All the knights to start off with. Uh, we're going to reveal that we have an advance. Uh, and we're going to start their activation with an orbital strike. Uh, the command ask can be used in the action phase. When used, select a point in the battlefield visible to at least one warlord. So we'll pick him. Um, roll one d12 for each unit within six inches of that point, subtracting one from the roll if the unit being rolled for is a light character. On a seven to ten, place a blast next to them. On an eleven plus, place two blasts. The point that gets as many folks as possible here. Uh, you know what? I, I think so. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna hit myself anyway. So. Everyone except for him, I think. So okay. I think it's, it's more than 12 between him and the other weird boy. I'd rather hit this clump of weird boys. Uh, so it's a 7 plus minus 1 if they're a light character. So an 8 plus for the characters. And if I roll an 11 plus, it's 2 instead of 1. Uh, yes, takes, takes one. 1. This unit takes 1. Uh, this one's on an 8. Does not take anything. The Grotz take nothing. Uh, this guy, your big boss. Takes nothing. Uh, the other war boss takes two. You needed 12. Yep, and then this one uh, takes nothing, and then the last guy over there takes nothing, and my plane doesn't either. 
takes one. Oh, it takes one action, sorry. Yeah, it goes to a bit. It goes to a single one. Now they start walking around doing things, because you're probably gonna die. So you need to make a big impact right now. Uh, which means you just need to gun some folks. You're gonna walk over here and try not to die. Stay outside of one. You're gonna head this way and do some jobs. Valiant, we're gonna put our conflagration cannon. What's an infantry unit that doesn't have a lot of blasts on it yet? We'll do it on this boys unit right here. You can also just do it on characters with an 18. I'm just gonna do it on that guy over there because it auto hits. So I'm gonna do it on your guy with the shock attack gun. And he just takes six four pluses because it's Inferno. Four plus. Bye bye, baby. Uh, takes uh, three three big. Should declare the rest of my shots. I'm gonna do the harpoon into the truck, the shieldbreaker cannons, and the um, uh, melty guns. I guess. Sorry, shieldbreaker cannons, and the missiles are all gone actually. So shieldbreaker cannons into the back truck, uh, harpoon into the front truck, melty guns into the front truck. Boom. Uh, one shot. Hits. It is apocalyptic destroyer. Two blast to wound. Does, and it places four blasts when it wounds, so two larges on the truck. Siege breakers into the back, four shots. Uh, one, two, three, and then siege breakers against vehicles are on a seven. So seven plus one, so one blast on the back truck. The guns are four shots, also into the truck. Uh, three hits, and then they are four plus against vehicles. So three more. On the lower guy? On the truck, yeah. The errands, uh, we're going to do our big thermal lance into your, I guess, truck to try and kill this commander. Uh, he's not a warlord, actually. I don't care about him. I'll do the lance into, I'll do a stubber into one of the planes that's wounded already. Do the lance in the other one. We'll do this into the, the unwounded two squad, because that makes more sense. Because uh, I might actually just kill it. Two, uh, both hits, and then it is against vehicles, a thermal cannon on a four plus. Uh, so two, and it has destroyer, so it's four. Rubber gets one shot. I'll do it into one of the wounded ones. Hits, and not does anything. That's the plane. He's gonna fly over here, just like park on the other side of this, and then try and do guns a clock into the wounded squads here. The storm strikes into one, uh, along with the hurricane bolters, and we'll put the assault cans in the other one. Hands on threes, and then on. Sevens, I believe. Nines against vehicles? The song has like sevens. Oh, that's It's right. one. It's the Hurricane Bolter, which gets four as well on threes. And it's like nines to wound against vehicles. Oh, or tens. It's only Sorry, it's only two. Oops. Two hits. Nothing. Storm Strikes. And it's against the other squad now? No, it's against the same. So I did the Assault Cans into one, the, all the everything else in the other. Mm. So Assault Cans did one small blast, and I've hit twice with the missiles. And they are on fives. One. So one small on each. I'm done. So it's in the damage phase now. Now let's see who's going to die. Oh, who's left? No, your big guy. He's first. You have an Oh, that's right. He's, he's first. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's all on D6s. And I could just five. die here. Uh, and I need fives. I have to pass two of these to live. Five plus eight. Dead. So do I explode? No. Crash shields. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to choose my big boss. Of course. And I can take D3 blast markers off of him and put them on the low guys. Oh, jeez. He can do it too, eh? That's awesome. Because he's a light orc unit. Yeah. He got both of them off. Whoa, they're gone. It's well, the thing is that now, until I kill him, I can't win the game because you have sudden death. <laughs> I'm going to play... No. No. I'm not going to play that. We're good. Next on the back, has to make one d6 save on a six. Nope, takes a damage. And one on a d12. Nope, takes another damage. So that's going to be two of his four wounds, which means he is crippled. You. Uh, Mr. Warbass just dies. Yep. Doesn't have any ability to make saves. Fighters have a four up save. So one four up on a d6. We fail, take a wound. One on a d12. We fail and take two wounds. We're dead. Oh my goodness. And so that's two kills to you, one kill to me. Back to you. The guys just take a wound, yeah, because they can't make a save. And then you gotta make a six. An 11 plus save. Do it. Do it on D12. Huh. No. They take another wound. And they oh, have sorry. three or two? They have four wounds? Oh, nice. <laughs> so they've got three, you said? Two. Two out of the four. That's right. Yeah. All right, uh, back to me. I have over here a veteran squad, which have two big and a small. Big. I need a six. I make it. The small. I fail, I die. I only have one wound, so they're dead. Oh, okay. a small, actually, sorry. I had to roll two sixes did, like, on D6. like eight wounds on the charge there. <laughs> no, I died. Three six ups for the truck. If I make two, he lives. <sighs> Does he explode? 11 oh, plus. Right. Yeah. No. Side. 
Potato. Potato. Don't take a blast. Don't burn Just get it. Two unit kills tier three now. So let's go to this big truck. Flushing, that was his ignore damage rolls. He doesn't actually have a save against any of those big blasts. Save for this fool. He has to make one big and fail it, take a wound, and then one. But he also fails. He has damage too, so he's dead. Explode. No. Got over. They're taking two wounds. Yep. Leave him over there because you have to make morale yep. afterwards too. And then they have a 10 plus against the other little one. Oh, yeah, you laugh. Back over to me. Uh, I have this unit of watch veterans. They need to make. This many six ups. No, they're dead. Six plus on a D12. It's good. It's good. It leaves it on for morale though. Yep. Uh, I've got one unit left over here, making it on a D6. We're okay. It dies because you can't make that many saves. Yep. So it's down a warlord now, which is good. And then that's another unit kill this for me. This guy is in charge now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just another guy from the unit. He's the last. You become a warlord, which means you still get a card for him because he's a character taking over, not like a regular plebeian unit. Mr. Truck, gotta make three six up the shrugs. The big one? You didn't make the big one. No, so it's okay. four six up shrugs. Oh, that's right, yeah. Because he would get to four shrug damage total, yeah. Uh, he's gotta make three sixes. You can do it, big guy. No, no you can buy it. Does he explode? Yes. He does. So everyone in six gets another blast. Big. Gain a wound. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that guy's gonna get a blast as well. Yeah, but he might—he might, he might do his save. Around. He's just probably gonna die now because of this. Yeah, he's, he's dead. just dead. Like getting out. Do okay. not take a blast. No, he's uh, out. Then we've got units over here. Uh, yeah, because they've all made theirs, and I'm done. These guys take a wound. Oh no, sorry, I have intercessors actually. Did I have to make one? One six up. Nope. And then this, which they pass. Wound, but have two, so they're not actually dead yet. Back to you. Oh yes. And they die. They explode from a thousand million tests. And he dies. And he dies too because he can't make his test. We're here. So uh, they're going to take two wounds and, and the, die. And the DNA 2 just dies, yeah. Yeah. So they explode. And then there's a small blast on each of these other copter units, which means it could kill them too. Each failure If they fail, them. yeah. Uh, big dice on a eight. eight. So, so first one. First squad dies. dies. Second, second one. Squad. Dies. So all the Death Cuppers are gone. That's morale. Uh, I have to roll for my intercessors here, who are leadership seven. Plus two. Eight. I think that kills them. And they should know fear so we can reroll morale checks. Six. We're good. Can't fail. So if you want to just pull that blast marker off. They'll be around with one less attack still. Yep. Uh, who else? Most people died. These guys can't lose anything either because nope. there's only one. The Grots could die. Right. Their leadership four. Uh-oh. Well, uh, let's see if we take that wound. We do. You do, yeah. So you have three wounds? Yeah. Boys, yep. They might take their third wound. And Six. Se yeah, seven, sorry, seven. yeah. They're so they're gone. Seven, they're good or they're... They're eight with They're 30. eight with the eight thing, okay. Ship six, okay, gotcha. So seven they, with 30. There we go. Okay, so actually these guys did have to make a test because now I have 20. You fell on a six. And... No, they're fine. Ship six. He's okay. He's okay. Star, leadership seven. Fails, uh, fails but animation on a fear. Fails, takes wounds, goes to three. That's, I think there's seven. Reeling anyway. We're good. All right, and we're into round three. Two for the Imperials as they score again. So top of three, let's roll some initiative. First. Two. Is me. Three Warlords left, and my Psyker on a four plus generates one from the twist. Nope. Does mine? Does yours? Nope. The cunning plan generate an extra one. It does not. All right, so orders have been placed. You have to draw three cards uh, and keep any psych powers that you I found, but you didn't get any. Nope. Uh, and you do three as well. Uh, so I have the initiative and get to choose who wants to go first. Hmm. You want to do first? Start the action phase. We're gonna see if we can heal these guys with our doctor You're on a four. Pain plus. boy. Yeah, pain boy. Do it. Out of boy. Lose one wound comes off. Nice. And then I have more. We're also going to play the enemy Vox Net is subverted. Uh oh. So I choose one of your detachments, okay. and then you have to change the order that's currently on it with okay. a different one. Uh oh. So we're going to pick this guy. Okay. So he currently has a advance order. We're going to give him a sustained fire order. Hmm. <laughs> you try and charge me. Well, I see what you're doing. Well, I'm actually not going to. I'm going to select uh, team the what should we call it the truck over here because I got to kill your warlord. He is My space mocking you with his <laughs> He is indeed. Power mode, so I don't have to move. Uh, and then uh, we're going to actually play a card. Flip over what he has. I think I gave him the wrong thing. You gave him move and fight. Yeah, I'm going to give him uh, something else. Set overwatch, which is a command card to change his uh, order to... Aim and shoot. Aim and shoot. And that way we can do the, the guns a clock. Because you are minus one right now. <clears throat> so you're I plus am. One again. That's so right. It so it balances myself out, but it also means that... Uh, 
I got some I got some stuff to do here. So we're going to uh, split up our fire. We're going to do the assault cannons into your war boss, the rockets into your hmm. Who's got wounds as a vehicle? Nobody. Nobody. I guess we'll put that the one rockets. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempted actually. Put the rockets into them maybe. That's really? 36. Yeah, we're, good. we're 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 well, it wasn't 36. But well, we're gonna do the um. Sorry, we're gonna do the. Uh, Hurricane bolters into the grots. We're gonna do the in the grots. Okay. Yeah. You gotta die before you start sucking wounds on other people. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> we'll do him first. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah. Hurricane bolters into the grots. Everything else into the war boss. Okay. Bolters on threes. Plus one, minus one. Plus one, minus one. Yep. And then against grots, they do ones, eights, because the KFF to wound. Ah, uh, you got three. There's two. Okay. Um, one more. And. Yeah, just do it. Looks like the end of the <clears throat> plus save grots. And then and then uh, four assault can shots on threes. And then hitting on or wounding on, I believe, sevens. This is go to sevens. Uh one, one blast. Strikes on threes. One. And then it should wound on a eight, I think. Goes to nine. Let's go to elevens. Nope. Me all done. And it's shooting time. Alright, so I we're wanted, wheeling these guys I to fire. To move them, but Operation Kill the Big Man is a go. That makes sense. Just everybody, I mean, I'll start with one at a time, but we're going into him. And eight shots with their shooters, and then two big shooters. Shooters on fours, one six, gets another one. Four on nines, because you are a big man. And a big man. Team yep. Valiant. Take three. Oof. Shooters. One hit. Also on a nine. Does another one. Oh my god. Too big now. And eight shots on fours. Yes. Yes. And two shots. Yes. Five. Oof. On sevens. Sevens. One, two, three. Go okay, and double the shots because he didn't move. Hitting on fours. Sure. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then wounding on sixes. Sixes. Uh oh. Because it's pretty good. One, two, three more. Five big blasts now. Gets Make two sure more hits. Hit two more. Yep. Yeah. Nines. Another one. one is. Yeah, hitting on uh, fours again. Two sixes. There we go. Three on nines. A one. Sure. Big shooters. Extra shot. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Nope. Nope, just one. Ha! Does it. Another one. Rots are going to shoot this plane down. Of course they are. Before they all die. Die. Four shots. Hitting on threes. Get them, boys. Uh, did they get dagger, dagger, dagger? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and the crop losses. They're going to damage on tens. On tens, yeah. Shoot them down. <laughs> Not a one. Burn is going boys. in two. Could just try and burn you down. Um, they auto hit because they're flamethrowers. And I believe they are... Six. On nines, because you're a vehicle. Okay. One, two, three. Well, on the Corvus Black Star, the battalion done. So it's back to me. Well, let's go over here and we'll reveal that these folks have a sustained fire. Sustained fire it is. Let's do some guns. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the, I guess, big man himself. He's gonna, you know, just chuck a vortex grenade. He's within six of your warlord. We're gonna hit him with it. I get to roll three D12s for every six plus, place a blast marker on him. So three twelves, Vortex Grenade! Two, so one large blast. Good night, sweet warlord. <laughs> Some guns, so we're gonna do boulders over here. That's on twos. There and then they are, I think, sixes or sevens. One rolls on sevens. Uh, one, two, so one large. Let's do this fall right here. Shots on twos for the assault cannon, same target. And then sixes against infantry. Uh, take two more, so another large. Right here, two shots into the knob squad. Yes, I will overheat, and that means that we wound on, uh, I believe, two, no, plus one, so... I think it's on fives. Fives, maybe? Regardless, Twelve double twelves will do it, another large. These guys will put their, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, auto-hitting fry cannon into them. Does damage, so one, and the Inferno Heavy Bolter. Sorry, oh sorry, it has to hit, actually. Twice on twos. Both hit, and then 
Eight nine on both wounds. Let's kill them, and then in melee, I'm minus one to hit. So these guys are gonna hit on fours. On fours, does it. Uh, I think it wounds on a six or seven. This is the wound. Does it. One blast on the Mega Knobs. Vanguard attacks on fours, because it's melee. One hit. That's what we need, and then it wounds on a six. Does it, uh, it does wound, yeah, seven. Got my Storm Bolter here. I would have put it into them. Yeah, because it's sense. already declared. Uh, both hit on twos, and then it's sevens. Whoops, sevens to wound. Two more, so that becomes an extra large. Not that it matters, they're already toasted. Fool's done. All right. Sorry, actually, one more thing before I finish. I'm going to do Medicaid supplies on these guys uh, and remove D3 damage markers from them because they're a light infantry unit. Ah, uh, one. Which only have one. Ooh. Potter, Potter. So he's a building, so he's not engaged with it. Yep. He can just drive off. And he's going to go cruising. Cruising for a bruising? And then he's going to start shooting his guns. Okay. And he'll put everything into the big thing. Do it. If there's a one attack, do it. Yeah, auto hits. Cranks it. Cranks it. This turns into one more big. Another cannon. Nope. Okay. Let's do some uh, puncher cannons. And we're going to put the first one into this. I'll uh, reveal that, as per usual, I have a sustained fire. Some fours. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then six is the wound against these shooters. Uh, one, two. One of the same target on fours. Uh, one, two, three. And then six is to wound. We get two more. Well done. All right. We're going to activate these guys. We're actually going to play forwards onto glory okay. to switch this from a normal move to a assault. Charge. I wasn't sure if you would move forward and let me be able to shoot you as well. That's fair. You didn't do that, so here we come. The knobs are going to charge the bikes. As you do. Because I think they're the only ones that can reliably just remove whatever it is that they that fight. you want to fight? Yep. Uh, he wants to go this way, though. Because he wants that reroll to hit aura on these on guys. Them. That makes sense. The tank is going to just cruise into the middle. Who doesn't want to fight? Ah, this guy. There you go. And Ten. get them into here. That certainly gets you closer. Yeah, and the other, the big squad's going to assault the building. Okay. They're going to join that, that That's scrum. scrum. Yeah. And then obviously they're going to fight the building. Yeah, they're already in the building. And or or touching it, rather. Yeah. They're smacking. Start the punching. Boss, First. Go get them. One dice on twos. Yeah. Twos we rolling ones. And then one dice on an eight. So twos, re-rolling ones, Yay. and then on an eight, bap. Bam! Bike! No knobs. These guys right here are going to fight the bikes too. Six stacks. Threes! Reroll the one. So Extra shot four. for the six. Yeah, that's right. In the deck, deck, deck. There we go. Five hits. Wounding on sixes because knobs are good. Duffing stuff up. One, two, three. three, four, three. So two big now. Blasts. Three boys, yep. They are so half attacks. Yeah, so their attack goes to one. Got it. And that makes it three attacks. Hitting on threes. And then they get an extra one. And they get four hits with their three attacks. Nice. Wounding infantry on sevens. One, two. Very well kill us if we can't roll a six. Boy squad going to the buildings. So they're going to get six attacks. No rerolls though because the war boss is too far away. Uh, but they get an extra attack, and they miss. So four, same thing. Eights. Seven. Seven. Take two. Big blast on the intercessors. Now they're going to go. Two attacks on threes. One. One. And it wounds on sixes. Does That's it. one small now. The death roller. Running over your commander. Uh -oh. Hitting on fives, rerolling ones. One six. One extra hit. Nope. One on sevens. Nope. There's all the fights. Let's do some, uh... Some of these duders, and they're gonna take an aimed fire action uh, and start tossing some shots into the Booster Blaster. Let's do a plasma cannon, Booster Blaster. Uh, we'll overcharge it, so it's plus on a wound, and that will be on a two. And we hit, and then it's going to be, I think, a seven. Goes to a six against vehicles. Yep, so it's on a six. Does a blast. It's one shot. Hits. Ten. That's a one. Last cannon, two shots on twos. We're rolling ones because the captain's there. Both hit. And then I think it's on fives against vehicles. Yep, five plus. Two fives. Two more. In storm bolter, which is in rapid fire. Two hits. And then on tens, it does some damage. Nope. I still on two plus because his wound is balanced out by the aim fire. Hitting. And wounds. So this goes to one more big. And the storm bolter is going to fire into these burners over here. One shot on a two. 
Hits. On a seven. Doesn't matter. Those are done. Little weird boy. You're in hover mode? I am in hover mode. Break my brain. He's gonna bap you with this stick. He's gonna bap you with the stick? No, how dare you! He's an orc. Threes. No. Alright, well we're going with this space plane now. Uh, and he's gonna go supersonic. And fly into the middle of this old mess. So, let's do assault cannons here. Hurricane bolters here. No, assault cannons, hurricane bolters here. Storm strike rockets into this thing. And that's it. Pick one unit I flew over to take damage. I'm gonna pick the Mega Knobs. 2d6 on 5 plus. Each one's a blast marker. And it'll do nothing. But it adds up to 5. Assault cannon shots into the big boy squad on 3s. 1. And then on a 7, does a blast. Four shots from the awesome, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Hurricane Boulder. Two hits. This is also on 7s. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. 12, so one more. Two storm strikes uh, into the truck, the big uh, battle wagon. One hit. And does not damage. We left. So I've just got Big Boy over here. So now you know that he's going to have an aimed fire. But I am going to play... Signal the advance. Uh, use the action phase to select detachment in your army that has not yet carried its order phase and replace their order with advance. We switch it back. <laughs> Let's walk. Oh, jeez. Let's walk over here. Stay outside of an inch. Take all of our thousand blast markers with us. So we're gonna go Inferno Cannon into your weird boy over there because he's a warlord. I gotta kill him. Yep. Uh, we're gonna do the harpoon launcher into your big vehicle. We're gonna do the melta guns into your big vehicle. We're gonna do the shield breaker cannons into this boy squad. Conflagration cannon auto hits the weird boy and does two. That's it. A big harpoon launcher uh, hits and then it is. I think a two plus because it's apocalyptic destroyer. Hits and wounds, so four blasts onto the big thing. Multi guns into the big tank. Uh, three hits, and then against vehicles they are four plus. Uh, three more. Shield breaker cannons into these guys, and that should be four shots. Yep, because it's two of them on threes, and then against infantry siege, sorry siege breakers are on sevens. Uh, does the KFF in range? No, they have to be wholly within. Got it, so four more. I'm all done. So we are into end of round now, starting with the big boy though. He may just explode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, five ups. I make two, I live, otherwise I'm crippled. Come on, two, five ups. Okay, uh, I take two wounds. I take another one from morale, and that will cripple me. Initiative, so I get, no, it's me, because I have to do another one, because I have initiative, so who else took blasts? Uh, these guys. Two on sixes. Don't die, boys. Pass one, take a wound. Kill him. There's a unit to you. Turn. They are, they are not able to make their saves. Eight plus. <laughs> saves because they're boys. Uh, let's do the Primaris's over here. So I have to make a six plus on a d12, which I pass, and then a six plus on a d6. I fail, so I take a wound. Jobs. Four plus on a d12. Nope, they take a wound. Okay, two. Let's do these guys. One six plus saver, they're dead. Do it! No, they're dead. <laughs> Killed the vanguard. Pause. Ten plus. Did you die for nothing? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I might kill you though, yep. yep. Uh, who's next for me? me. I you. think I'm done actually. Uh, uh, oh, the plane. A yeah, big and a little. A big and a little? Let's see what the save is. Uh, so the big on a six plus. Fails and a little. Fails, takes two. That will kill him because he's only got four wounds. So does he explode? Please don't. Yes, please. No. Nine? Liable. Try to make a armor save. Four plus. He's okay. Oh, damn it. So weird, weird boy dies. Yep. Yep. Uh, the Grots, they die. <laughs> they die too, yeah. Big boys take a wound. Yep. Uh, this truck is also dead. You want to live here? <sighs> I think the knobs have a better chance. But if my war boss lives, it denies you a bunch of it stuff. It does, absolutely, yes. We're gonna go on the war boss. Okay. But it's only one dice roll. Okay, we're gonna play Null Zone. Uh, when you select one sturdy psycho with a unit to manifest a power, uh, subtract two from saving rolls for enemy units rather than 12 of the psycho. When do you have to use it? In the damage phase. Oh no, I need the beginning of the damage phase. Never mind. Can't do it now. So who are you doing it on? I'm doing it on the war boss. Okay. A plus. Out of boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just lives. <laughs> Uh, but no, yeah, it was one or the other, and 
He sucked up my vortex grenade and lived. <laughs> Took it. That's his contempt. That's his contempt. I could kill him though. The morale might make him run away. Oh, we, uh, three six pluses on d6s. Make them all. Make one. one. That's and then does he live with the other one? Yes. So two he's wounds. Two he's wounds. crippled now. Tough though, because just making that one means that your morale test probably doesn't kill you. Well, it's three wins, never mind. He might live. His morale is <laughs> either roll a one or a two. Got it. Uh, so everyone's made tests now, so who's got blast still? He does? He does. Don't die. He's okay. Five? He's he couldn't okay. fail, he's seven. Oh, he's seven, seven. okay. Uh, then your big, your big truck here? Him, on the other hand. Roll a one. Out of boy. The pass? Six. six? Oh, oh, damn it. And then I have to roll a one to pass here. Nope, take another wound. You're five? Yeah, the bone break is. Uh, roll and see if he explodes. Don't explode. No, no it's indeed. Yeah, 10 plus. Yep. Yep. So they take a blast murder. Oh. They're I'm fine. Good. They're These fools. Uh, they're good. They auto pass, yep. Yeah. And then this one. Also, also auto pass. Okay. For my. Um, what's your belt? What are. Uh, intercessors are on a seven. With two six, they're good. These guys don't die. Peace out! I think that kills them. Kaboom! Yeah, I mean, it's seven he, definitely kills them. I think it's 30, they get seven. Yeah. You have to make them go away, and then this little foul. Is he a seven as well? I believe he's a seven, okay. but I'll roll it just in case. He's fine. One is a good yeah. Labs. Oh, uh, they already passed. I rolled, oh, they, oh, I they rolled two okay. ones. Oh, that's right, you did, yep, yeah, in a row. Three, but I can't win unless I kill all these heroes. Uh, and you've still got this one and that one alive. Well, let's see who's going first. Nine. Six. Six. To my. Ten. One. Two, three warlords left, so I'm drawing three cards. Does my psyker make me an extra one? Nope. And does my warlord over here? Yes, he does. All right, I think we're we're doing stuff. So I'm going first. Moving in the action phase. Moving in the action phase. Yeah. Heal these boys. Yeah. Another Ooh. one. We're doing what we do usually. Can you measure forty and see if I can put this guy right next to your warlord? <laughs> I think I have to. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. Stick him right next to it. He's got an advance. This is my chance to kill this fool. Your grots are all gone now. <laughs> Fire everything! Put him down, boys. Assault cannon, four shots on threes. And then uh, sevens do damage. Eights because you're KFF. Take three. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three. Uh, hurricane bolters, four hits, and then eights again. This could be the end, big man. Yeah, here's hoping. Nope, nope, nothing. Okay. And then storm strikes times two. This is on tens or something? Uh, this is bad against infantry. Yeah, it is on tens, yeah. This is on elevens. Nope. Uh, I did forget though, I'm flying over these guys, I'm gonna do my bombing run. Oh, you can do it every five. time? Yep. And my guys get it once. Once. Little blast. Pretty sure, let me just double check. The bombing run's every turn for him. Uh, and he is done, over to you. These guys, things are looking grim. They've got a wander about and shoot about. Because uh, these guys need to move back into, into friend bubble. <laughs> so they, they would, would have had a murdered. morale, morale bad. Would they get it out of uh, coherence? They, they would be out turn? of coherence. Okay, right yeah. so they technically are right now. It'll get removed at the end of the turn if that guy's not dead. Yeah. They technically have this. It's gonna go away literally when you're done this activation. Burn us. I see what you're doing. You. I see what you're doing. Um, man, I really don't want to move this guys off this tray. I think just pick them up and over. No, it's fine. Or just move them sideways. I'm easy. Put on top of them. <laughs> There you go. Done. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I am the Underminer. <laughs> I am uh, beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. <laughs> you're not hovering though, right? So you can't uh, just I'm not. You. I flew over there. Yeah, you can't. Okay. You can't bat me. We'll move a bunch of people around. A bunch of mechs are just gonna be like, wow, we've run out of things to fix. What are you? I'm called Wound Allocation. <laughs> and he's gonna make sure they're within nine and these guys. So everyone nearby him is in the KFF. Those guys have walked out. Accepted their fate. Ludas. Eight shots. Eight shots. Looking for sevens because we're gonna kill this big guy this time. We're hitting on fives again because okay. we didn't aim. One, but it's extra shot. No. Nope. And then seven plus. Last one, it. him. Little burners. We're gonna burn and eight this front dread. Get him. Sixes. Oh, sorry, nines because you're a robot. I'm a robot. Take your little blast. Yay! Still in range. All right. We shoot. Go get him, shooters. Uh, eight shots on fives. Take it down! My shot. Oof. Does it. Nines. Denied. And then. One hit. And. Nope. That's it, and they get taken off. Let's do Team Punisher cans then. Uh, they're gonna start putting some shots out. Gonna do six shots aimed into them. Fours. 
Ooh, nice. And then wounding on sevens, I believe. Uh, might be sixes, let's check. Three, did sevens. And then the second one, same target. Fours. Uh, one, two, three. On sevens. One, two more. Your turn? Yeah, I okay. have to activate these guys. Well, I'm gonna play Veil of Time and activate this unit before you have to activate. Uh, select one of the Deficit Studies units, uh, Psyker in the battlefield, their detachment can immediately carry out their order prior to them doing their order. So I'm going to reveal that I have a Stain Fire. Play Death of the Alien, I'm going to pick three Death Watch units, and they get to make a free attack, followed by their activation. We're going to pick him, them, and them to be the free attacks, and then the unit will activate afterwards. So starting with him, he's going to put all of his attacks into... Does he attack with all of his weapons, yep. or is it just an attack? They get to activate, um, let me just see. I guess it's shoot in the shooting phase. It's to either make one free shoot action or one free fight action. So it's the action. So they get to just go. So four salt cannon shots in him. Uh, and he'll do his star, his uh, storm boulder too. You're, Cause you're a duder, so minus one hit. Uh, I don't actually have this order in place yet. So I don't gain the plus one yet. So I'm gonna be on fours. Uh, so three rolling misses cause of big man hits. And then uh, it's gonna be on sevens. Sevens for the assault cannon. Two. Storm Boulder on fours, all hit, and okay. then <laughs> on sevens again, and four more. These fools are going to overcharge into this big thing, so rapid firing, two shots on, it's going to be fours, threes, fours, minus one, because of, oh no, you're not, you're not obscured, that's right, yeah. uh, and then it's going to be plus one to wound, so winning on sevens goes to something better, seven, one, one blast. You guys will go, they'll do the auto hitting, um, uh, shot cannon into them. Wounds. And then two shots in the Infernus on threes. Really misses for the boss being nearby. And then one more wound. Death of the alien. Uh, and now we get to just activate and go. And we're gonna do him into I think these guys. Four shots from the assault cannon hitting on twos now. We're rolling for the watchmaster. And then sevens again to wound. And that boys squad. Uh, one, two, three. We'll do these guys shooting into the big tank. So rapid firing on twos now. Overcharging. And then sixes of damage. One. Uh, they're gonna go, they're gonna do their big murder gun, I think, into these guys. So the um, shot cannon. Wounds, another blast. And then two shots from the Infernus on twos. Both hits. And then on sevens, one. No, nothing. Sixes, sorry, so it does do one more. Uh, and then fighting in melee, we're gonna have the Watchmaster stab this. Plus to hit, because I'm last one for the Overwatch. Misses. He can't reroll his own. Um, and then this guy, Mr. Chaplain, on a three plus. Hits. And what does it wound on? Plus the damage. Yep, does. Range, so it's just these guys in melee. One attack. Misses. It's all done. Uh, now you get to your action. Moving along. Moving and fighting. Yeah. I think we might mutually annihilate each other this turn. Like no. the. He's gonna Chaplain. pile in. Yep. Everyone love me. Everyone, everyone love me before I die. Starting in with the boys into this uh, watch squad in the building. Uh, no. These guys definitely will. They'll just kind of pile in this way a bit. Okay. But the big guys, because they can just wander off. Yeah, but they're falling back then. Uh, you can't stay in combat with a building, if I recall. Or is that... I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I think I think in this one, because I'm occupying it, I count as a unit. But Alright, whatever. We'll just shoot me along. I mean, you're not going to fight anybody anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, they can shoot. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because they all we'll have look pockets. It up. Well, then you're just going to pile in. Cause we'll just do one of these. You just want right. to keep fighting the building, yet. Yeah. Ten-man squad of boys, three attacks. Yeah. Uh, Make the actually, punch. He's going to charge a little bit like that, just oh. so that the ten-man can get the reroll. Sure, go for it. Hitting on threes. Didn't even matter. Two on your infantry, so sevens. One. Battle wagon. Running over your commander. Hit yeah. on fives. How's he do? One. Another Exploding. One. Nope. Rerolling ones. Nope. <laughs> and then on a seven. Nope. That's two plus. Does it. Eight plus against your wizard. Or the chaplain. Fails on a three. And then let's do the mega knobs. Threes. One, six, one, one. Okay, one on a six. They got those. Goes to big. Hasn't attacked yet. So the, the mega knobs should be on there. The mega knobs on there. 
Yeah. Oh, so they both have one little one. Yeah. Sense. Sorry, I thought these had attacked previously into them, but it's actually them going now. Yeah. Two more dice. Hitting on threes. One more attack. There we go. Six hits on sevens, because you're humans. We are just primaris marines. Two, one, two, three. Three. So goes so to two, two big blasts. Boxcars to live. Well, then it's gonna be these fools. Or uh, I got nothing. It's all yeah, you. I know you're all done. Yeah. Uh, let's do them and start making the killy death. I guess. Let's reveal that these guys have an advance order. So they're just gonna start walking. Up. And making shots. Do twin las cannon. Sorry, storm bolter and uh, plasma gun. There, we won't bother overheating. So it's going to be on a uh, two, and then on a seven. Does the damage? So blast on them. The storm bolter. It's going to get two shots, and then rerolling ones because the captain being nearby. And that's on sevens. Two more twin las on twos. Both hits, and then I think it's. Well, like you are minus one to wound all them. The R and the shield. Oh, I right, okay. Well. I, think I, I rolled like tens and a. Yeah, this. No, because I was wrong in sevens anyway. Uh, we would have needed eights. Let's just check. Nine, ten, twelve there to wound, so we were okay. Uh, the Vendred's last can, though, is on a ten, goes to an eleven. In ha! Three, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scars, okay. And then in his missile launcher, which is actually pretty good against infantry, it's on a seven, so it's an eight. Twos, and then an eight. Nope. This little fella, plasma gun, or plasma can, does a three now because he's injured. Nope, we're rolling ones though because of the boss being there. Still misses. And then his storm bolter on threes, we're rolling ones, two hits. Uh, and it needs eights because you are KFF'd. Nothing else from his storm bolter. Twos, both hits. And then eights. Now two more. All right, so it's going to be this guy. Uh, he has an advance order. Let's take a walk, just going deeper. Very minus one to hit, so. Gotta make the most of this. We're gonna go conflagration cannon uh, and siege breakers into these guys, melt guns into uh, one into each of the two mechs. Harpoon into, I guess, the. Can't these shoot guys. him. I guess these guys. <laughs> so it's on uh, four plus to hit the harpoon. Hits. Uh, I don't know what it does against it. It's nine plus for the KFF. Nope. Take it on the chin. That's it. That's what you do. Uh, first twin melt gun into the back mech. Misses. Second one into the uh, front mech. One hit. Uh, twin melt gun is on a 11 plus. 12s. Nope. Each breakers into the burna boys. They are four shots, sevens and sevens, so eights and eights. Threes. And then. And no fours actually. Fours yeah, actually, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And then two. Black. No, 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 sorry, the Lutus. Oh, the, the Lutus. Lutus. Yeah, they're sorry. on the Lutus. They're already 30 dead now with them. Um, so the other Burna Boys. And then the uh, Conflagration Cannon them as well. So on fives, because you're KFF'd. Three more. Big fella done. Finished. So six plus save for him, because he's the only Titanic unit left. Uh, he fails. Takes another wound. Stop at the beginning. Okay. I have two. I am two. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, you have initiative, it? so you're playing first. Yeah, yeah I play um, Null Zone. Uh, over here, so all units, uh, all enemies within 12 or minus one or minus two saves. Uh, until the end of the turn, subtract two from saving throws made for enemy units within 12 inches of the Psyker. Over here, we're gonna do look out, sir. Okay. And I'm gonna remove D3 blasts from my guy and put him on an infantry unit. Okay. So if I roll a five plus, he doesn't die. <laughs> Don't roll five plus. <laughs> it's a five. Ah! All of these, I'm gonna play go to ground on my man here. Okay. It doubles the rolls on my dice when going for saves. Okay. So he will live on a two plus on any dice. Roll. <sighs> That's it. Let's do some stuff. I'll just do the guy who matters the most to me. Okay. Big man's got to roll two two pluses. Out of oh, Can't believe they're alive, so I have to actually do a unit now. Okay. Uh, we'll do this guy right here on a d12. Six up. Nope. Takes another wound. He dies. Does he explode? Nope. Needs to be a 10. It's deleted. Here, right here. Needs to make a six up on a d12. They do. It's deleted. These guys in here have to make two six ups. On D6s, no, they died too. So they get eliminated, it's deleted. All my saves, so over to you. 10 plus. Come on, boys. D12. Nope. nope. Two, wounds. two wounds, and they got one left. Does explode. Fuck. Uh, six plus on both of these. Pass one, fail, fail one. one. <sighs> Another wound. Down to one. Six rounds, he's okay. All of his friends died so for this. So, morale, they're on a seven, the veterans. 
They're fine. These guys. Uh, they're morale six, so I need to roll a four or less. Out of boy. Three or less. Nope, it's nope, gone. It's gone. Oh, it's D12. Yeah, ten plus. Nope. nope. Rim. He's good. Now. Morale. Big important morale. I Seven. I think he said five. So he blows up. Last round, so I go up to four. And it's the final turn. Let's see what's the initiative. I gotta kill one war boss so that you, if you keep him alive to the end of this, you get sudden death. Boy, he's not leader of the unit. He's the leader of the, <laughs> of the pain boys. <laughs> there's two pain boys there somewhere. No, I forgot. I picked. There's two. There's boys. two mech boys. Yeah, there should be two mechs right there and one pain boy. Big initiative. Hiya. <laughs> Ten. It's me. Three. And then I get to roll for my psyker and my other guy. My draws for this round. Uh, sorry, I should actually have one more. I have to roll for my psyker. Nope, and the big boy. No, I actually have to do two more because I have one left. Um, I got one base plus my three characters. Initiative me, I'm going to give an advance order to these guys. Uh, these fools are going to fall back. And, the and well, I'll just make you the closest. Like over here. And then unleash hell. Let's uh, overcharge rapid fire some plasma guns into him. I'm reeling ones. Two hits. And then it's going to be on sixes. No. <laughs> The um, frag cannon does one. Uh, the two shots of the furnace, rear only misses because of the watch captain being there. And then on sixes, no. I'll have to you, assault cannon. Four shots, rear only misses. And then on sevens, three dice. There's two more. Oh, okay, it's over. And the storm bolter. And sorry, rear my miss. Nope. And then one more. I was actually, I only hit once. Man. Still gets it. Uh, and it's really just what can these guys kill? Because the mechs can't do anything. So, why don't you do I that mean, now? They were just going to berserker charge the <laughs> dreadnought and try and take it down. <laughs> and try and kill the big guy. And one last. Do it. Off. Go get him. Let's get it, boys. Everyone moves 10. <laughs> Go fight the knight to death. We're going to send the pain boy and the two mechs try and dismantle this thing. It's together. Do it. Hitting on threes because they're still orcs. There you go. Getting Explode the six. Bam, and then nines. <laughs> three. One. One. Bam. Mr. Pain Boy, three plus. Gets it. Nine plus. No. To play Action Guard? We're going to play Laser Burn. Sure. So I pick two points on the battlefield, and I draw a 12 inch line across them, and then so everyone bam, touches over. Bam. You could probably I think hit. I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, you can probably hit everybody except for this squad. You'll definitely get these four. You know what? No, I think we'll do this, and we'll get these four. Sure. Um, but against infant, like, uh, single characters, it's on a, uh, 8 plus. 8 plus, okay. So, 7 plus for these guys, take your blast marker. On 8 him? plus, take your blast marker. Okay. 7 plus, no, and a robot, yeah, no. Okay, so these two take blast. Face! Uh, uh, so actually, it doesn't matter now. It's I, no, I nothing else matters. We might as well just do our saves, so I can fall back and kill these guys, but it's not gonna do anything. They do their berserker charge. Yep. They could go for these guys. Uh, he'll go for your commander just because spite. Get him, big guy. Hits you. Eight. Nope. nope. And then the Mega Knobs have still three attacks, because or two attacks, right? And then two. Four? Three. Three? Uh, three wounds, though, okay. on those guys. Two bigs. Half attacks times three. So three attacks. Yep. Three and extra. Ones, and then an extra. So three hits on... Sevens. Two more big ones. Two more? So, yeah. Or one, two for a big one. big, two small. One small, sorry. <laughs> Three big, one small. You said two more? Oh, that's true. That's yeah. right. right. Do that. And without safe, so we might as well just do our saves. Does Mormont live? Technically, I would do this one first, and he would. Did they fail? Oh, no, he's got one left. Five. He's a five. He's five seven. I might take another one from uh, Morale, though. And then over here. Mormont. I have an issue to get some Mormont on a six plus. Uh, might be a five plus, actually. He's okay. Um, and then. Uh, these, well, you can do yours, I guess. Do your boar boss, see if he lives. Can't live. He then he explodes. Um, and then these guys, uh, one of the 12, six plus. Nope, they're just dead anyway. Uh, and actually, you, who got the most kills this round? Because I think you did. Sure, I could have killed these guys over here, like, too. you activate yeah. him, him, and them, and they kill one, <laughs> two, three. Like. That's true. And I've killed all the warlords, which means that you can't claim sudden death, and it's four nothing for the death watch. So there we go, into the game, our first Apocalypse match um, under wraps. And as you can tell, we actually had to take a break halfway through this and, well, and came back changed. the next day. Since so their shirts changed, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Explain why we're wearing different clothes. Um, 
It's uh, it, there was some, there was definitely some some learning points on day two. I don't know if you noticed, but I came back with like a completely different printout of I my stack cards, and you switched to your on, phone. On I, I whatever it is. There was a lot of book flipping. <laughs> if you're gonna try and play this for the first time, my recommendation is what I did with mine was I printed four per page, and I sorted it to only the pages that were stuff in my army, and made right. myself like a four page sheet of just the rules I needed because there was so much flipping. I really hope they make like an app or something. Or like a deck of cards. Yeah. Like they're clearly designed it's, to be the same size as like the Age of Sigmar like character cards. There, I think Workshop... Even those are tedious though. But I was going to say, Workshop could do a lot, I think, still in the in terms of learning about how to make player aids. How to use the Because they... No, it's not that. It's it's that the, the game aids they make are very... They're pretty, but there's no reason for them to be this big. Like they could easily be well, like Malifaux sized. Like they're, they're only this big. Like the... Uh, well, I'm just saying there's, there's not enough information on these cards that it couldn't fit on like a magic card size card. Right. Right. And then you could have it just be tight. You could just put them literally in like a card organizer and have your whole army in front of you seeing the stats. Yeah. So it, and even organize it that way. I get why they're this size. They're kind of like big bespoke kind of cool looking things, but they really don't need to be. And if I they're mean, designed on the to, on the back of my movement trays, I'd have little standees <laughs> and have all those cards sitting behind. If they're them. designed to be, if they're designed to speed up gameplay and assist you in playing the game, then that should be their function. You know what I mean? Like the 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 form becomes it becomes less about making a pretty thing and more about making a functional thing. Um, the tokens and stuff were great. Actually, it was really easy to tell what was doing what, uh, who the commanders were. I liked your little commander face where he had like the token like on his on his visor. His teeth. He's carrying yeah. his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, but yeah, no, this did take an awful long time to play book flipping wise. A, a lot of that was self inflicted, just the way we, we printed these things didn't make it yeah. easier. But y you, y there was definitely stuff in just the assets, the way they designed that could have sped it up if they were made differently. So if you can scale them down that small, there's going to be a lot of dead space printing them on something like Magic or playing card sized. But the it, other downside, maybe that someone I've remakes seen them. As far as speed <laughs> is concerned, it's not less rolls than a regular 40k game, it's smaller numbers of sequential rolls. So like, where my boys would shoot and then shoot shooters and then do this, you're still doing all three of those with a hit to wound and then eventually an armor save. The only difference is when you're doing them and how many dice each time you're rolling. Yeah. So like where I would have shot 60 shots with my boys, I shoot eight shots with my boys, but then I have to shoot each one of their other guns. And then you have to shoot your big guy Declare left, right, shoulder, back, butt. Like every one of those is a different interaction that you have to think about every time. Right. So, like, while it's faster in that I'm not like buckets of dice every time, it is the same length because it's still four instances of having to roll. Of dice. picking up and rolling dice. You're counting less dice You're out counting beforehand. Less, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the the one thing I'll also mention is that because of the way damage, like I do like the fact that damage happens at the end so that Same. everything gets to That's act. That's like my favorite thing out of this. Yeah. But what it does do is it means that time doesn't dilate until the end of the round. Right, because casualties don't happen midway through when you're activating your detachments. Time dilates all at once because and everything are, still acts. And there right? are apocalypse cards that will just deny your ability. That's to right. Damage. That's right. Yeah. So stuff stuff might just live. So like, where attrition in a normal game of 40k speeds the game up because units get removed, they don't get to act anymore, so they're no longer part of like the play process. In this one, you go through absolute like in the first turn of a regular 40k game, some units might never get to activate, and so yeah. that shrinks the amount of time that the, the actions are taking place between the players. In this one, they always get to activate. <laughs> Which, so, to be fair, is a solid thing. You get to use all of your models. Hundred percent. You cool I'm just stuff. saying. I'm just saying for for, for the for the for up force the, on the fun. Time. There's yeah. a down force on time, basically, right. because it's meaning that time time is the amount of things that get removed, shortening the turn length, happens all at once at the end, as opposed to happening throughout the course of the turn and removing processes as they happen. So you're doing processes with things that a normal 40k game might not be there, meaning the game doesn't necessarily speed up. Um, I do think. This is definitely a good Apocalypse rule set. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Having 100%. played, I think, the largest Apocalypse game ever. Oh, played no. played a million points. No, it's been beaten, I'm guaranteeing you. Yeah? I'm guaranteeing well, you. Well, I played a million point pop Apocalypse <laughs> game. There's a lot of stuff. And the, the that's way that's that a game, crown that gets passed around. There's lots of people trying to get that crown all the yeah. time. Um, and we built up. But anyway, um, the, the tedium of models and like just using movement trays, just moving chunks, yeah. makes it faster in and of itself. I mean, the less dice... Yeah, it's the same number of rolls. Well, and, and the fact that you're, nice you're sharing the game turn, not having everyone wait to have fun, where you're just standing there making armor saves for like ever. This would be harder to run as an event, though, because of that. 
Um, there's advice in the book about it, though. By there's advice in the book about it, though, about dividing up, like, table captains and dividing your really big games up between tables so that, like, you have, you have like, a you have an overall commander for a side and then the people on each table are responsible for their own thing. Is that everyone does their saves at the same time. <laughs> well, if you it, as long I think if it all, I was gonna say if it just goes to the end. If you have a time limit for the round, and then everyone just does damage at the end, yeah, it doesn't matter. The turn, the turn marches on. You have different people doing processes. So I think I think that's gonna be fine. Um, I will say that this isn't necessarily a play at home game though. Still, so when you're talking about making a product for everyone, yes, you can play with your whole collection. We struggled to fit there's a great less spectacle, but than I can't fit all my army on. <laughs> well, there's but we've struggled to fit less than full sized apocalypse armies because they recommend 300 power level as like the cut off the threshold for just play a regular 40k game. We played 250, and your orcs struggled to fit on the table. And uh, even my, even me with marines, I'm playing marines and knights, and I almost filled up my side too. Yeah. So like we were just kind of there was not a lot of maneuvering, just kind of smushing guys together and and having a big scrum like right in the beginning. So. What we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna play a 100 power game. We're actually gonna scale down to roughly 40k army size and try these rules out at that scale, and that'll be coming on Wednesday. So, because the experiment I wanna see is, is this fun to play at any game size? And they do recommend that you play this at 300 plus. It still took forever at 250. It is pretty exhausting. Like, it's a very long game at 250. Um, two days. There you go. Well, it's, there's <laughs> I, some of that's. I, I would say one of our two sessions I'd attribute to the learning curve. Yes. Like it was a four-hour session and a two-hour session, about six hours long for the whole thing. At least two of those hours were us looking stuff up and trying to try to look at our stats, basically, it's trying true. to figure out what stuff does. Yeah. But still, a four-hour game to play roughly four to five thousand points. Like we played a, a four to five thousand point forty k game in that many hours, that's a pretty quick 4 to 5,000 point 40k game. But from an apocalypse point of view, you're still looking at a, a, a most of a day basically to play a larger game than this. Um, unless again, you're dividing into teams and you're keeping time and using trackers and all that stuff. I really like saves at the end. I would yeah. incorporate that in almost every other game I play. <laughs> like even 40k, it would be, it would be great. Think I, so? It would, it would make the game so much different. The way you play that game right now would change dramatically. Yeah, if you, if you don't know if things are dead or not. Yeah. Right? And, you, and you kind of you do know. You move a piece before it kills you. Before it acts, yeah. So you you have it, to it kills Alpha things. Strike. It gets rid of Alpha Strike completely. But then you can bring back Deep Strike and you can, bring, like, you can do all the cool things again. It, yeah, it's true. Yeah, but it means, it means that, like, that your, your high risk plays always go off. It's the results of those high risk plays that are unknown until the end of the round. So. Yeah, I'm, I really like this version. I think this is a great blown up version of Epic 40K, as I said earlier. This is, this is taking something from a really good rule system, but basically making the models bigger instead of smaller. <laughs> so you're playing a mass combat system, but you're playing it on bigger tables. I would highly recommend that you play this on the, on the prescribed table size or play it at much smaller power levels. So you either play it on the six by six because you just can't fit your army on the or six by four. Six. I would do eight by six too. That yeah, but that still way. doesn't super fix that deployment where you're pushing 18 out. Gives you a, a little bit in the corners, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it having more distance between each other. Another foot square, like that's a lot of dudes in. Yeah, there. that's true. I guess. But the uh, the the recommended game size on a six by four, I don't six think you can do six. it. Six yeah. by, no, I'm just no, I'm saying we played on a six by four. So like, I don't think that we played 300 power. We'd be able to fit on the table. I, it also <laughs> depends what that power is made of. Like there is an argument for sure. That, like, yeah. If it was more knights against more Morkonauts and Stompas but, and stuff. But to be fair, like it, it, a knight still has a fairly big displacement just on the table. He's he's about twenty boys big. Yes. <laughs> so but he's, uh, he's double their. He's points. thirty power. He's he's uh, five times their points. Sorry, twenty four power for so it's four what's, times what's twenty boys four Eight. times yeah. Eight. <laughs> Eight. There you go. Thirteen for thirty. <laughs> That's true, and that does shrink your footprint a little bit. But definitely, um, if you're interested in big multiplayer games, if you're interested in playing a large game, um, you are going to need probably a box each. We struggled to fill out cards, so you each need to have your own apocalypse box. I think you do um, one player to one player, unless you play like a one detachment type, one army like. You right. Play but if Quinn's in a five thousand point, or if game, you're like, both playing Marines, good for you. You play you know Harley I mean? Quinn's in a five thousand point. Game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but I'm just saying, is if you need to split the cards up, like if you're both playing like Imperium and Marines and stuff, yes. you're going to struggle to get it in one box with it. We we manage mostly because we're playing two opposite factions. Uh, so yeah, so get get each each of you gets your own box. You have more than enough tokens for like almost any size game. Um, the dice and the, the dice and the actually cover pretty much everything. You had big units and yeah, that 10, 10 and ten of each. We never really ran out of dice. There's like one instance where I had a few extra. Shots, we had twelve. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then I think really it's just 
finding a space to play it in. You need to have a big space to play in. Uh, and we have a pretty we have a pretty optimized game room, and, and we kind of struggle to fit into it. You can, you can do some cool <laughs> floor hammer with this. I mean, no, no, I'm 100%, but I'm saying yeah. it is Apocalypse. It's not necessarily a play at home game. It's a play with friends in a big venue, at a store, at a con, you know, what I mean, kind of game. Hasn't replaced 40 k no. Okay. Well, that's, that's our next that's our next step, though. Yeah. We're going to play it at 100 points and see if it's as fun and engaging as a 40k game. And that's like our next experiment. Like, what, what do we, how do we feel about that? And I think what we'll do is we'll sit down maybe after that and just do a big talk about, about Apocalypse in general and our, just our feelings on it. Because we've played like the Apocalypse game now. Let's try it at a smaller level and see how this rule works as just like a 40k variant. Really, more than anything else. And we'll switch armies, too. So anyway, we'll see. I hope you enjoyed that look at uh, Warhammer 40,000 Apocalypse. A new mass battle rule set. Not 40k, it's a new game from Games Workshop. We'll see you for more of these in the future. Big thanks for watching. Thanks to Al Mash the Zone. Not forgetting. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.